Or coach of talking with fans, people. Live streaming again. Why, you might ask. Why are you live streaming again, Eric? Well, you know, I watched a couple cartoons. I was kind of waiting for Rachel to get up. She, I was thinking about maybe going to town, going to the hardware store, getting a few things for the other house. But Rachel's coming down with my cold now. So, you know, she's a couple days behind me in terms of the getting sick and getting better thing. I'm pretty much better now. You can probably hear I'm still a little congested, but I feel mostly well. So that's pretty good. And I'm hopeful that over the course of the next couple of hours, uh, that some sort of activity may, may open up. I called Ruben to see if he wanted to go to the hardware store with me to maybe help me select some things from the hardware store for the vacation rental. But he did not answer the phone. So I'll just have to wait for him to call me back. Essentially, if I'm going to go do anything right now, I have to go do it by myself. So I figured I might as well just live stream instead. Of course, this is probably my third live stream of the day. So I'm not sure if YouTube's going to really, uh, you know, like pimp it out to various peoples. But it would be cool if, for example, I could get to 11,000 subs today. That'd be pretty rad crazy. I've had 1,463 subs in the last 28 days. So that obviously encourages me to continue live streaming. But uh, if you put up too much stuff, then YouTube starts to de-emphasize you. So that may happen here to me as well. I don't know. They may start to do that. They may not. I'm just... Uh, Man, whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Thank you for the hearts. It's probably my wife hearting me. It's like my wife's hearting me from the bathroom. That's pretty good. So, anywho, uh, I got up early. You know, I live streamed. I told a bedtime story, I slept some, I got up again, I live streamed, I uh, stopped live streaming, then I had some lunch, I watched some cartoons, I tried to go back to sleep again, I wasn't feeling very tired, Rachel finally got up, she came in and said, hey, are you sleeping? I do look exactly like Shaq, exactly. Hi, John Johnson, XV, or 15, you might say, John Johnson, the 15th. Hi, Vanelli Brusciano, Enyo, Enyo, Bryceno, Vanelli, Vanelli Bryceno. There, I said you're you're uh, in properly this time. It's got one of those squiggles over it, you know. That means it's Bryceno, not no. <laughs> That's what that squiggly line means. So, yeah, I know what squiggly lines mean. I'm a smart guy like that. Anyhow, I'm live streaming again. And a lot of people might say, why is this guy always on my shorts live feed? <laughs> well, because I want you to pay attention to me. That's why. I want you to enjoy the wonders of talking with famous people. You know, it's it's one of the most effective dating sites in the world. Talking with trans people is responsible for at least three marriages that we know of, including mine, and multiple other couples. So, yes, that's a plate of butt.
Of course, I don't smoke on camera. It's just kind of an intuitive dating, though. All right, well, fair enough here, Lam. It may be a little skewed towards intuitive. In the sense that people around here really get a chance to know each other before they start dating. But our most recent couple is Elaine and Chris Chapin. Congratulations to Elaine and Chris Chapin. And supposedly they're going to come visit us this summer. Well, Israel Wallace, this is just my plate of shake, okay? I get buds out of the freezer. And then I put them on this plate. And then I pack bowls from this, the buds on this plate. And what's left behind is shake. So this plate is not bud that I'm going to smoke, really. I need to go get more buds. It just has little nugs left on it. It's just the plate of shake that's left behind. Okay, so don't critique me for poor weed storage. <laughs> my weed is in the freezer. This is just my plate of shake. Although I will agree I have p poor weed storage problems. I have a bunch of weed in the freezer, which is better than just like out in the air. But uh, <laughs> what was I saying about Dave? That's okay, Israel Wallace. <laughs> I was just saying that people hook up around here all the time. Like this place is responsible for many, many couples, including me and my wife. And uh, the reason is because it's not explicitly anything about dating. It's just people hanging out and chatting about stuff that they're interested in. Well, that's true here. I am anywhere. Some chicks are a bit whack. Some dudes are a bit whack too. That's true of any location. But I think this has produced more lasting couples than any place I can think of, really. We will have a time to get to know each other, chat and stuff before things get, you know, steamy, as they say. I don't know if you know what that means, Rachel. No. It means a little bit sexual, maybe. Oh. Steamy. Yeah, it's steamy. Sexual. Yeah, some people get a little sexual with each other sometimes. And then before you know it, they, they say, we're here at the live stream and we're together at a hotel. What's your <laughs> show about? Religion, tarot card reading, or just general BS? Are those my only three choices? <laughs> it's not about any of those things, okay? It's about truth, justice, and the American way. It's about correctness. It's about explaining things in ways that make sense. And most importantly, it's about hanging out with me and my wife. Hi. So take that, Tommy Temper. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go outside. I, it's a show. I have flashing signs. You just haven't seen them yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can, Tommy Temper. Thanks for subscribing. I'm uh, inching my way towards 11,000 subscribers. You know, I went for years without growing any kind of audience at all by live streaming. Stuck at like 8,500 or whatever. But then, switching to vertical live streaming, the last month I've had 1,463 new subs. Crazy, huh? So right now what we're doing is we're playing walk around. Walk around outside. Why? Because it looks nice outside. Doesn't it look nice outside? It's because it's a nice day. It's a lovely day to have a health tube here on the deck. A little bit of noise pollution today. I hear people like running like either a leaf blower or you know, potentially a weed whacker or something like that. I hear the kids from over across the street. But I can still hear the stream down there blowing away pleasantly for a little while anyway. Definitely a seasonal stream. It 
won't flow deep into the summer or anything. Well, we're lucky. Like, there's a, se a series of gullies like this along this road. But most of them don't get any stream at all that lasts more than, like, a day, maybe, or two. We have an actual seasonal stream here on our gully. So we got lucky with that. Of course, I never go down to the stream. It's way down there. <laughs> you can't expect me to go way down there to the stream. What would I do with the stream anyway? It's not like there's fish in it or anything. Let's see if I can get it in frame. It's always a fun game to play. Can I show you the stream? I don't know if you can see it down there or not. Yeah, you can. You can see it flowing a little bit, huh? You can see just a hint of stream flowing. How nice. All right, so you can see it. Congratulations. You got to see it. Like I said, I never go down there. I have to walk all the way down the hill. <laughs> uh, you know, it sounds hard. One thing I'm going to have to do is go down this hill and get that cardboard box that Rachel and Cameron and I were shooting with BB guns. Well, let's go around this way some. Tilt that back up like that so it's more straight up. Straight up now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Are you just having fun? Boom, ba ding, ding, ding. Straight up now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Are you having fun? Do, do you love me? It's my Paul Abdul dance. I hope you enjoyed it. There's only 11 people here to witness that glorious dance. So a lot of people missed out on that. It's not a dry creek right now. Most of the year it is a dry creek. But for the next month or two, it'll be an actual creek. Can you be in an actual creek down there? I went down there one time last year to try to pan for gold. You know what the problem is? It's full of pyrite, full of gold. Hi, Bonnie, Cassie, how are you? I am fine. <laughs> well, not that much water down there. Corned beef is delicious. Isn't it good? Yeah. It's kind of sweet, huh? It is. Uh, you want me to get you some horseradish? Oh. I put it on mine. It was yeah, delicious. That sounds really good. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, I'm fine too. Fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. <laughs> That's a great one of those poems. I normally don't like those poems.
you know? Like, Bonnie, beautiful. Uh, what's that O word? Omnipresent. <laughs> Natural. New. Intellectual. Emotional. Bonnie. I hate those things normally, but I like yours for fine. <laughs> Anyone else think MBTIs are a load of shit lately? Still fun? I mean, I've never ascribed to MBTI. I don't think what I'm saying is bullshit, obviously, but I say very specific things. I don't say a bunch of bullshit, so that's to be expected. Um, we had a nice trip outside, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I've been good. I've been feeling really good, actually. I'm excited to be live streaming because I'm getting a lot of new faces around here, getting a lot of new subs and stuff. Good time is very interested in how many donuts we have left. The same amount we had left last time you asked, okay? Eight, maybe one or two a day. Um, Blue Elvis Draw, hello, how are you? Good afternoon. Namaste. And namaste to you too, Zane, and namaste to you too, Bonnie, and you too, good time, and Hero Lamb, and Israel. Namaste. Boy, Israel, you must be getting a lot of grief these days. What with everyone always asking, Israel or Palestine? <laughs> <laughs> Every day I live stream multiple times. I know, it's crazy, Zane. It's because of the vertical live streaming, I agree. Um, and, uh, I don't know, I feel like I can compete on my merits, kind of. And I probably compete reasonably well on my merits. It's like, I am tailor-made to do this thing, which is just talk randomly about various stuff, engage with chatters. Just... You know, do relatively pleasant things. <laughs> Here I am give some good advice, okay? If you're ever on a dating website and you see a chick with a profile that says beautiful disaster, perfectly imperfect, or if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at your best, and my best, run. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with you completely, Here I am. <laughs> I think that's a wise advice. So what do I do on YouTube? I thought about doing ASMR, talking about he he energy healing. I'm an energy healer. Well, I mean, there's plenty of people who are interested in that kind of stuff. What I do on YouTube is I live my life, basically. I do everything on YouTube. When I'm just chilling, I'm just chilling like this, live streaming, chatting with chatters, and talking about whatever topics come up, such as what to do on YouTube in this case. Um, but a lot of times when I'm live streaming, I'll do, uh, chores and stuff that I have to do around the house. I'll play songs on the guitar. Um, I'll pretend to teach people how to do things like, here's how you cook meow, and then I'll cook a thing. At the men's U.S. soccer game versus Trinidad, a lady with, with a Palestinian flag ran on the field she was attacked by security and somebody threw a 30 ounce beer at her head it was interesting to see live wow oh my gosh she could have probably died from that i was just thinking that 30 ounce beer at a soccer stadium must have been expensive <laughs> it does smell a lot like Teen Spirit. That's true. It smells a lot like Teen Spirit. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to time you out anyway because of the second one. If you just if you just left it at the first one, I probably wouldn't have timed you out. I just would have said, okay, that's funny. It does smell like Teen Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Have you been smelling my crotch or what? Daniel Barry Sports Highlights. Good afternoon to you. It's wonderful to see you. And look who's here. It's Rachel Strauss, my beloved wife. Yes. <clears throat> I 
so I'm hopeful that my title on this stream draws some people in. Maybe people who've seen me like in the shorts feed before but haven't clicked on me. I thought, well, maybe that would be a good way to entice them would be to title it. Why is this guy <laughs> always on my shorts feed? <laughs> or whatever it said. It's very entertaining. So, um, at the moment, you know, I don't have a whole heck of a lot going on, but what I could do, in fact, I probably will do, and this is the sort of thing that live streaming motivates me to do, is I might go ahead and at least sweep up the kitchen. Yeah, I know, Bureau Lamb, it's, it's how it is, but my understanding of things is, well, if, uh, you know, I keep increasing the number of subs then gradually those numbers will shift up. So instead of say 10 and 40, it'll be, you know, 20 and 80, or it'll be 30 and 120, you know? That'd be my hope, but I don't know if it's gonna work out like that or not. As long as they keep seeing positive results from live streaming obviously I'm gonna feel pretty motivated to continue live streaming and since when I'm live streaming there's not a lot going on in the chat what I tend to do is chores well that works out pretty well you know because I need to do chores. So, it's a win-win. I can kill time, I can live stream, I can do some chores. Um, do I need to get the cat litter again? I just got the cat litter. No? Okay, good. At least I don't have to get the cat letter. Okay. Now, let's take this dustpan and this broom into the kitchen where you, me, and some other people will collectively work together to accomplish Sweeping up the kitchen. What do you say? You want to do it? Yes, we do. All right, then. That's the kind of attitude I like to hear from people. All right. Sweep, 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 sweep out of my hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little sweep in here. I'm gonna teach you how to sweep in case you don't know how to sweep. First thing you gotta do before you sweep, you're gonna pick up this big thing here, you know. And I'm going to put this dirty towel outside. And I'll shake out this dirty towel later. Okay. Now let's put you more in a position where you can see what's going on better, okay? I guess right here is fine. But I'm going to have to tilt you a little differently. Now, I'm going to have to shorten your legs. That's what I'm going to have to do. All right, let's shorten your legs. 
And then maybe let's shorten your legs one more time. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you should be able to see me doing most of my sweeping. I'm going to start over here. You can't see the ground part of this, but that's okay. I assure you, I am sweeping it with this broom. All right. Now, one thing you're going to be tempted to do, which I just did, is try to sweep while holding the dustpan in the other hand. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Use two arms to sweep instead. There we go. This is much better. You want to get in there into the corners, get all of the stuff out, and sweep, sweep, sweep it into a pile, okay? You're going to sweep, sweep, sweep it all into a pile. And then you're going to get all of this cat hair off of here. This is all trouble hair. None of it is Capito hair. It's all gray trouble hair. None of it is my hair. None of it is Rachel's hair. We've got a full wig's worth of hair here, and it's all troubles. Okay, sweep, sweep, sweep goes the sweeper. Now, we're going to go back here where there's lots of bits of cat food. And we're going to get those, and we're going to sweep them over here. Using the broom in a gentle sweeping motion, just like this. Sweep goes the sweeper, okay? Sweep goes the sweeper. As you see, I've got more cat hair here. Quite a bit of it on the end of this broom, in fact. So I'm going to pull that off and throw it away. Alright, now, we want to make sure when we're sweeping to get underneath the table. As you see here, with this gentle sweeping motion, let me move you a little closer to me now, okay? You're a little far away. And you're not going to learn how to sweep properly this way. Like, I'm going to put you down here on the ground so you can really see what's going on, okay? I'm going to lower your legs even more so that you can learn how to sweep. Today is the day you learn how to sweep. All right, today's the day you learn how to sweep. There are two people here currently. I guess it's not that exciting for people to learn how to sweep. You know what? That's fine, everybody. You don't want to watch me sweep? Well, that's okay. My feelings aren't hurt. I get it. it sweeping is a lot like calculus. You, you don't, that's something you undertake learning lightly. You're doing a great job. Thanks. For those of my sweeping students who remained, you are getting some of the most compelling content YouTube has ever seen. Plus a crash course in the fine art of sweeping. And I've got a mess back here that I've not cleaned up for a long time. I guess I might as well just clean it up.
it's getting there. Sweeping all of my sweeps. All right, well, I swept up the uh, kitchen now, and that's some progress. I mean, it's not perfectly swept up, but you should really sweep a little bit more. to mop the floor. I don't really feel like mopping the floor, but it clearly needs to be mopped. So I don't know what to do about that. I guess I'll have to mop the floor at some point. I'm also considering putting on pants that don't fall down, since mine are constantly falling down. Even though I don't have anything in the pockets, but they're sweatpants with just one string, so. What are you gonna do about that? progress on the progress train now we're going to go and experience some pain what kind of pain well I think I'm going to wash my hands that's relatively painful just rinse them off really and then uh, let's go in here Let's see what's happening. Hi, Cam Moto. Yes, I, you gave me a disease, but that's fine. No big deal. I'm pretty much over it already. How about you? Was yours, did yours last a long time? Or did you get over it pretty quick? Because mine, mine passed through pretty quick. You're fine soon, too. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit of residuals, but it wasn't that bad, really. It's pretty chill. I'm cord? No, I didn't say I'm cord. I said, I've got a little bit of residuals, but I'm pretty much better, I think is what I said. Oh, chord is like on a guitar with an H. Chord with no H is like the thing you plug in the wall. No H, you plug it in the wall. H, you play it on the guitar. <coughs> so... Anyway, what I'm anticipating at the moment is that uh, I shall pull a couple of bowls and then maybe end up transitioning into another chore. That's the great thing about live streaming done properly is that 
in the absence of any traffic or activity in the chat, really, I can just do chores. Otherwise, I probably would just be like, well, I probably would do them anyway. Got nothing going on today. Just waiting for, uh, I don't want to decorate that corner. Um, just waiting for Monday or Tuesday when I get my bottled Adderall refilled. Hi, Shawshank Shekhar. I am fine. How are you? I hope the day finds you well. I'm currently uh, in the middle of doing a couple of chores. You know. I'm not sure what chore I might do next. But the one that I really need to do is one that I'm kind of avoiding a little bit, I guess you could say. Namely, mopping the kitchen floor. Yes, I have ADHD. That's a real thing. I don't know if it is, but I am prescribed Adderall for it. And certainly I feel like when I don't have it, like... I'm not stressed about the viewers. My health is good. How's your health? I mean, I am a little bit sick right now. But I'm at the tail end of it. Can you catch ADHD? Yes, it's mosquito born. or something down there <coughs> of course ADHD is real you were on Ritalin so 17 and it's not working well I mean people the reality that certain people function better on Adderall or amphetamines is a reality but whether or not that means they have some actual disorder or not is another question I tend to think it's just as it's just a way of pathologizing people of a certain personality type, you know. Dink says, "What's up, brother?" Not much, Dink. How are you? How do you like my hat? Right in your face right now. You got a face full of hat. Blue Elvis is already in love with Bonnie. Bonnie, congratulations. You've already made Blue Elvis fall in love with you. Yeah, all is well. Uh, I'm just feeling a little impatient, you know. I want to... I'm done with being on Sleepy Week. I'm ready to get my... my gack on again, you know. I'm ready to get my thwack on, motherfuckers. Then it's going to be like, this is no way this is like two-hour live stream. We're talking like a 13-hour live stream. I think basically you were a lady on the internet, Bonnie. I think that was your mistake. That was, <laughs> you, you messed up as soon as you, be, as soon as you decided to be a lady on the internet with a picture of herself as a circle. You were just guaranteed to... Uh, to have Cupid's arrow flying from you in every direction. <laughs> yes, your psychicness is confirmed. I think Bonnie is talking to uh, Blue Elvis when she asked that question. Am I good looking and wealthy? Well... Not very good looking. I wouldn't call myself wealthy. But, you know, 
we're gonna pour. Of course, Bonnie is not gonna do you any good. Because I'm already married to a very special lady named Rachel. Sometimes pronounced Rachel. So. I'm not going to do you any good. But Blue Elvis, though, he might do you some good. It's a lovely day outside. It's such a lovely day, I just want to, like, show the day. It's absolutely gorgeous. It couldn't be any more nice outside right now. It's like the perfect temperature. Blue skies, but little puffy clouds here and there. A couple of them anyway. Some cloud over there, see? Not really clouds over there. I see a butterfly flying in the house right there. The light's good for videoing things. Oh, that's the towel I threw out there. There's the hill. Over there. It's mostly the water company's hill. Yeah, a little bit too much sun in the in the camera, huh? Still a lot of sun. How do I get less sun in the camera? I guess it has to go that way. That's the only way to get less sun in the camera. Energy heal me with your energy healing. I'm going to energy heal you all right now. I'm energy healing you. Feel it through my fingertips. Smell my fingers. Can you smell the energy on them now? Can you smell the energy on my fingers? Produce the energy from clean, burning, natural gas. So, you don't have to worry. Here at this house, we are on propane instead of is this what shrooms does? I wish I were on shrooms right now. I don't typically take shrooms, though, unless I'm also on Adderall. Because the serotonin the effects of the shrooms are a little too overwhelming sometimes. I need the, the uh, Adderall to counteract those effects. My name is Garrett. My name is Garrett. Okay, Garrett. I'll try to remember that. On a nice day like this, I almost feel obligated to be outside. It's like, it's such a nice day. I really, this is a neighbor's tree, but I 
I really like this tree over here. It's a pretty big tree. It's a pretty big tree. There, we got some nice cloud in the picture now. That makes it better to have a little cloud in it. You gotta have, you can't just have sky without any cloud in it or else it's just like, wah, wah, it's just boring blue. So, I'm glad I got a little bit of cloud in the picture. <sighs> We're looking at that thing over there. Things I need to take down. I still got so many projects I need to do over here, and I still got, I got all these new projects I need to do at the other house. Well... I guess I'll just have to wait a bit. I don't want to bother Reuben and Acacia if they're sleeping or whatever. So. I've got my pants pulled up as high as I can pull them up. In hopes that this time, maybe, if I'm lucky, they won't fall down. Bro smokes crack. And my bro, I don't actually smoke crack. I wonder why you, where you got that information from. Is there a website, whosmokescrack.com, that tells you who smokes crack? I think maybe there is. Oh, it's that. That satellite dish thing on the corner of the house, that's what needs to be taken down. We don't have that anymore. I don't want that there. We never did have that. You know, previous people had that. It's not motocross. He does various moto-y things like scooters, electric bikes, other kinds of things like that. But well, Ruben, I uh, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of possible things here. Um, I was thinking about going to the hardware store to get some stuff from that for that house. I wanted to know if you wanted to go with me. That's the uh, first order of business. Giat surplus store. But then you know, after the falls, I started a lot of survey, though. Are you sick? Did you get sick? Rachel's getting sick now. I don't smoke crack. <laughs> Oh, because uh, that's fine that you didn't or answer the phone, you know. I'm pretty much better. So, uh, I do smoke every day, but I don't smoke crack every day. Um, Mavis says, what's up, Doc? And I say, not much. 
Well, thanks, Watermelon. I mostly just do streams these days, you know. Is it even possible to be a recreational or casual crackhead? Uh, no, I don't think it's possible. Uh, but I've never tried, so. I did crack once, too. One night I did a bunch of crack. I never did it again. Yeah, Eric says sans the cabbage. I don't know if it needs it or not, you know? I've never been a huge cabbage fan. And I look like Hugh Jazz, huh? Oh, I'm sure it would. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure if you smoked crack every day, it would fuck you up. I think cocaine in general tends to fuck people up. I do like cabbage salad. You know, Mavis, you and I have a lot in common. I also like red cabbage salad. Like, for example, the red cabbage salad at uh, Clearman's Galley. Or at all the Clearman's. Is. If anybody's from L.A. and they've ever been to one of the Clearman's restaurants, they probably know exactly what red cabbage salad I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Blue Elvis. He says, I can't listen to Gregory in disguise anymore. It rings through my head all night like a Charles Manson CIA trance song. Yeah, anybody from LA who's lived there a long time anyway, they probably have been to Claremont's Clareman's Northwoods, Clareman's Galley. There's a third one, actually. But anyway, they have the best red cabbage salad there. And then Ruben, I don't know if you're still here. You might be able to guess what my second question is. Your buddy lived near Spawn Ranch. Do I believe in Earth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, do you mean like, do I believe in dirt? No. <laughs> You're a better guesser than that, Ruben. I want you to guess again what I'm going to ask you. I believe in your power of guessing. Um, so. You just woke up, lol. Well, I'm sorry if, uh, you woke up sooner than you would have because of my phone call. I didn't mean to wake you up. Yeah. I was going to ask you if you might be able to spare me something that rhymes with schmatterall. Now you, now you think I should have guessed that for sure. I don't know what I was thinking, huh? <laughs> Thanks, dog. You the man. Um, do you want me to come over there and get it? Or do you want to come down here and then we'll go from here to the store? Or or what do you want to do? Or you want, Take your time getting ready, whatever, you know. I'm not in any huge hurry. So, you know, if Ruben's going to kick me down a schmatterall, then that means 
everybody should expect us to uh, me to be live streaming the night away. Okay. All right, cool. So I will come over in like maybe by at like three o'clock. How about I come over at three o'clock? How does that sound? It's two eighteen right now. How about that? How does that sound? Does that sound good? Does that sound fine? What do you think? Does that sound okay? Three o'clock is a really good time. What do you say? I know I'm excited, Pat, I want a range bender. Woohoo! Uh, hey, Zishas, there's nothing gay about getting drugs, okay? I'm getting drugs in only the most heterosexual of ways. <laughs> you know, by humping my wife. I do not want a pulley system with this, Mom. <laughs> yeah, Padawan Range Bender, you've got it right. You've got it right, and Z Shiz has it wrong, okay? Okay, well, if it's perf for Schmatty, that's fine. If the hardware store doesn't work out, that's a secondary concern, <laughs> okay? Let's be honest here. Let's not tell any lies. Okay. So, 3 o'clock for the schmatty. We'll play the rest of the shit by ear. You need an Ozempic plug. <laughs> what is Ozempic, anyway? All right, T at three. So now we have a clear duration to this live stream. I'm already getting the drug sweats. Everybody, let's buy motorcycles. Who's with me? <laughs> I'm not with you on this one, Cam. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies, baby. Baby, baby, tell me lies. A pneumatic tube. If it were an underground pneumatic tube, fine, Mrs. Mom. I don't want it to construct any above ground stuff. Unless it's a monorail. I wouldn't mind having a monorail that takes me from my house to town and back. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? Do you think you would want to ride on a monorail from here to town and back? The crazy thing is, they only ever really make monorails at amusement parks. Why, why didn't monorails make the leap into real world life? Hmm? Why? There are regular trains and stuff. Where are my suspended monorails? What is it? Only Disneyland can have monorails? I feel gypped. I feel like when I was a kid, the amusement parks were promising me that uh, I could have monorails someday. That monorails one day would be the mode of transportation of the future. That everyone would go everywhere on monorails. But it never came to be, did it? Nobody ever goes anywhere on a monorail. <sighs> well, that's just part of the sadness and sorrow that one has come to expect.
I hope Ruben and Acacia are enjoying it in the little house over there. Um, you know, it's a small little house, but it's plenty big for two people, I guess. Boba Fett really made me guilty, feel guilty about asking Ruben for her an Adderall. He really got in my head with his commentary earlier. I was like, oh, am I really being like that? <laughs> INFJs, they, they have the weapons to get me. Boba Fatty really got me with that one. I'll be back inside in a little bit where I can see what people are saying. At the moment, I can't because I don't have my glasses, of course. Because, oh, wait, I do have my glasses. They're on my chest. Aha. <laughs> no, I never use a hemp wick. Tharwat Mella, hello. Hello to Syria from the United States. And California. I hope Bob was okay too, but I was not talking about um, him per se. I was just saying how he, he got in my head, made me feel bad. That's not, I'm not critiquing him. If anything, I'd say he was effective at what he was doing. Yeah, three, maybe four people, I agree, Rachel. And something we're gonna need to like I, I think we're probably gonna not have a bed in one of the bedrooms right on purpose so as to uh so as to prevent people from trying to cram too many people in there yeah well that's not just vibes you're getting here I mean, it's him explicitly telling us a lot of the time who invented Adderall Vincent Adderall you know, I did not look at your email. <laughs> I haven't looked at any email. Do I look like an email looker? I don't want to read your... Here's why I think... Meh, 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 or whatever you're going to say. It's just like... Uh, I don't want to play argue about your type. It's like my least favorite game. You got to catch me at the right moment for something like that, Elaine. That's not where I am intellectually, emotionally, spiritually right now. I'm just not in that space. Right now, instead, I'm thinking about live streaming a lot. I'm thinking about this vacation rental. And at the moment... I'm thinking about Adderall. They invented Adderall because they thought Dexedrine was too addictive. That's why they invented Adderall. Dexedrine is better, but whatever, I just take Adderall. I'm not going to try to get a prescription for Dexedrine because it's hard to get. Pharmacy don't generally have it. Regardless, 
I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We've got an exciting day ahead of us because Eric's going to take some Adderall. I'm so grateful that Eric and Kimberly ended too. Boy, oh boy. You want to talk about a terrible relationship. No, no, I don't, I'm not worried about argumentation and screaming. It's like, I get it, you perform well on TI tests, but as I commented to Rachel, there's no way any TI one or two person would be proud of themselves for that one trick, um, for that one trick genealogy question you sent, you know? It didn't do anything tricky at all. And yeah, I'm sure you can get yourself to do that. But again, it's just, all you're doing is showing, is proving the same thing again and again, which is the TI test can't be used as anything other than polar tests, right? Like the TE test can't either. I can't tell good TE from bad TE with TA test. I can only tell polar TE from not TE, from not polar TE. The same is true with the TI test. You've proven that. But nothing else you can prove to me with it, except that you've invalidated any use of the TI test for anything other than polar tests. Well, the 16 personalities test is completely worthless, Charles. Fine. No, no, I'm talking about the genealogy question you sent to Rachel's phone or maybe the Discord chat or whatever. I don't know. And had her show me. Right? I'm not talking about anything that happened during the timing session. I'm talking about those things that you sent to, to Rachel. Right? So, the thing is, keep in mind this. If you're, if you're a TI1 or 2, you'll understand how this cascades down. The only thing you can possibly do by demonstrating well with the TI tests is invalidate the notion of it being used for anything except for polar distinction. And that's what you've done. I have to look more holistically at things like I had to look at the way that you expressed TI values through an FE frame. I had to look at the instrumentality of it and a bunch of other things to determine your type. It's not wholly defensible in the sense that I can't reductively establish for certain that you're an ENFJ, but it's nevertheless the best typing. And it doesn't matter what you sent me, right? Because of what I just said. Oh, she was showing to the Discord chat. Okay, well, that would change my interpretation of it somewhat, Elaine. So, my bad there. Um, I didn't understand that. I, I jumped to that conclusion. Regardless, my point stands, right? The only thing you can do with any information about your TI test is prove to me that they're only useful for polar distinction. I don't know what that is. Please don't spam. Well, sure, you can get any personality test and get any personality and come out with 100% results, but you can't do that with me testing you. I agree, Elaine. I have typed other people. I, ha I have used it in that way in the past, and you invalidated my use of it as such. You proved that I can't use it as such. That I can only use it as a TI polar test. So the thing is, usually it is indicative of that, but for for not for some people it's not. So accordingly, I can't definitively use it for anything except TI polar. So yeah, Elaine, that's what I'm saying to you is that I can't. I, I cannot use it like that consistently with and expect it to be revelatory at all. That doesn't mean, of course, that every time I used it thus in the past, I, it was used incorrectly to do that. In other words, it was the incorrect thing to do, but it doesn't mean it produced incorrect results necessarily. Because broadly, it probably can be applied like that.
All right, well, I'll believe that Padawan rangebender. And it, it's obviously the case that, as with any kind of psychology test, it works best on people who don't know what they're being tested about, right? They don't know what they're being tested for. So if you take somebody who doesn't know anything about cognitive function, certainly doesn't know anything about my approach, it's going to be more effective on them than it is for somebody who can, is, who's better positioned to, to game things. So it's like, it is more, it's as much art as science still. And that's why it's frustrating. That's why I don't feel like having these arguments about it, right? Well, I explained before, SI polar, is, I, may have, I may have been less wishy-washy about this in the past, but certainly in recent months, I've, I've been saying SI polar, SI8, it's hard to tell them apart, you know? That doesn't mean I can't definitively say you're either seven or eight, though. I, I feel pretty confident about that. Um, even so, it's another test that's gameable if you know how to game it. So since you're trying to game it for the purpose of proving the test itself invalid in that regard and or proving yourself something else, not, not because you're trying to game it like you want to get false results, but because you want to... You want to validate your results as best you can with something that's ungameable. Well, nothing in psychology is entirely ungameable, right? Except really the polars. Um, and only some of them are ungameable because we only have some tests that correlate well enough as skills tests to those polars. Remember, even those correlations are not the functions themselves. So that's why I don't feel like having this argument with you. Do you understand? I agree that you land in gray areas where I can't be definitive about those things. And that's okay, because that's one of the limitations in typology right now. Okay, It may someday be other than that, but uh, that's where we are. In the status quo, therefore, I can only defend my typing of you so much, but I nevertheless stand by it. And you're just going to have to be okay with that. It's frustrating, obviously. I wish humans were less adaptive than they are in some sense, and we wouldn't have this kind of problem. But we do in all kinds of psychology tests. Once you've learned about a test and how it reveals this quality of people, meow, 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 then you're going to be less testable by that test than before you've heard about it. I mean, I feel like I can intuitively tell first or second slot any pretty well, but I can't explain exactly how to test out the distinction, you know? It's frustrating. I wish, I wish it were uh, more of a science. Like I said, I not I don't really care about it right now. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not interested in it. 
I'm interested in live streaming. I'm interested in getting this vacation rental going. And I'm interested in heading over there in a little bit. So I'll pick up some Christmas cheer. What time is it? 2.38. Wow, we're getting close. All right, cool, Isaiah Rude. You feel like it lands an ENTP? I think you're wrong. <sighs> Most importantly, I don't fucking care. That's the one message I want to get across here. I don't fucking care. Okay? It let you be whatever fucking type you want. I don't care. Well, a few more little poops. I've been squeezing them out today a few at a time. Little poop here, little poop there. Trying to poop my way all the way to victory, you know? There goes another little poop into the toilet. Oh. So again, let me stress the takeaway from this whole debate about Elaine's type. Most important takeaway of all. I don't care. I care about my poops. I wish I had some more of them. I'm a little poop light and pee heavy, if you know what I mean. But we make do. We make do as best we can with the poops we can make, when we can make the poops we can make, you know? You don't go to war with the poops you wish you had. You go to war with the poops you have. To quote Donald Rumsfeld. So, let's return to the other room and see if we've made any progress on this topic of Elaine's type. Hitler cured IBS with someone else's poo? Hitler did that, huh? Is that Hitler? I, I did not know that. It doesn't break the system. The only thing it changes is me being overstepping with the TI. You know, I've said in the past that you can distinguish between one, two, seven, and something else. I retract that statement. I admit that you falsify it, and I say you can only use it to distinguish polar. It doesn't break the system at all. The fact that you would even say that is proof that you're not wearing near TI one or two. You haven't heard what I've said and had it fucking cascade down to inform what what you should what you should conclude from it
I retract it. Because I don't believe Elaine's TI-12 and she would test as such according to my previous understanding of something. I don't think she wants to be anything. I think she's being NI tool, you know. She's thinking the truth is, it's not doesn't break one of my typing methods. It makes me pull back the, the, the scope of the ground that I, I laid claim to with one of my previous claims. That's all it does. The fact that you're still not understanding what I'm saying suggests strongly that you're not TIing this adequately. I don't care what part of this is not clear to everybody. I don't care. I'm not paying attention to this right now. That's not what my life is about right now. I don't care, okay? I will stop trying to defend anything, okay? You guys say whatever you want. I just won't even disagree with you. At the moment, no, I don't. I'm not caring about that right now, okay? What am I caring about? I'm caring about live streaming. I'm caring about this vacation rental. And I'm caring about ending the stream in about 10 minutes so I can go get an Adderall, all right? Yeah, that's what my life is all about right now. Is it about arguing with you about typology? No. Like I said, when you first started this conversation, you need to pick the right moment. This is not the right moment. I'm about to get drugs. I'm not thinking about other things like having this conversation about typology, okay? I'm thinking about drugs, obviously. Jeez, I got the drug sweats. I'm not stressing about this. Okay, well, I don't want to discuss. I, and the fact that you think I'm concerned because, oh, you, you want to argue, but you just want to discuss. No, I don't want to discuss this. I don't care if the difference between arguing or discussing, right? Is it not a tone problem with me? I'm not concerned that it's going to get argumentational. I'm not interested in the fucking subject right now. How much more clear can I possibly be about this? Yeah, if you want to come to me, that'd be great. Then I wouldn't have to end the stream. Okay, well, maybe she's an ENTP then. I don't know. Maybe she's an ENTP. That's fine. She can be an ENTP. I don't care. <laughs> you be an ENTP, you be ENTJ, you be whatever you want to be. Hi, Chris Chapman. Your girlfriend's causing me all kinds of problems. Can you, <laughs> can you check her, please? Can you check your woman? <laughs> All right, cool. <sighs> Trying to make me pay attention to stuff I don't want to pay attention to. How horrible. I hate paying attention to stuff I don't want to pay attention to. It's like my least favorite thing to pay attention to. <laughs> Wow, it got a lot colder out here since the last time I was outside not that long ago. All right, should we go down the hill and get that box? I probably won't have enough internet connection to get you all the way down there, though. Oh, that seems hard to get. <laughs> I might have to put on my shoes to get that box. All right. I could put on my shoes to get that box.
all this meowing about typology. So basically what you guys are saying is that rather than change my opinion about TI tests and stuff, I should just conclude that Elaine's an ENTP. Oh, it's possible. And it's possible. I need to test her anymore. I don't know. But I don't want to spend any more time on this. I've already spent a bunch of time on it. You know, what do I look like? I'm made out of time or something? I'm not made out of time, okay? I've got important things to do. Like walking around the house. <laughs> you know, waiting for Ruben. Important things. I don't have time for trivialities like what type is Elaine. I'm an important man, okay? I've got important things to do. I've got to stand over here and look at you like this. Hmm. I don't want to test your Annie Elaine. I don't want to spend any more time figuring out what type you are. I've already spent plenty of time figuring out what type you are. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. If you're convinced you're an ENTP, then just be an ENTP already. I don't care. What type is Chris Chapman, an INFP? If you're an ENTP and he's an INFP, I don't know if that's going to work very well. Of course, you know, you can never say for sure any types in theory you get along fine. All right, fine. Let it be an HP. I don't care. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Because it's boring. And you're making me hide behind my heart. I'm not commenting about your relationship for fuck's sake, Elaine. I just said if if you are an HP and he's an INFP, I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. That has nothing to do with you and him, right? It has just to do with the typology relationship. For fuck's sake, calm down. And then I even backtracked from that. I said, but, you know, of course, any two types in theory can work out fine, I guess. So calm down. Don't comment anything about your relationship. I barely know either of you. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Off to a fussy start here today, huh? Well, that kind of turned unpleasant fast.
I don't think you're being edgy or providing argumentation. I think you're ignoring what I'm saying. What I'm saying is pretty clear cut. You're ignoring it. So then basically, I don't care. I don't want to talk about it. You keep dragging me back into the conversation, maybe. That's my bad, but... I don't care. I don't want to talk about it. Well, this is just a pile of shake, really. Well, I'm glad you didn't run into any spiders. Have you been seeing a lot of spiders? <laughs> okay. You're taking it into account, but you're just not respecting my wishes in that regard. Fine. You don't have to respect my wishes. I'm obviously in control of whether or not I engage what you're saying or not. Yeah, come to me then. That sounds great. Uh, no, I've not watched Apothecary Diaries in English. I've only watched it in Japanese with English subtitles. And I didn't watch today's episode yet today. This plate... Alright, well, I think we'll still get it, uh... Fum like, not fumigated, but... I think we'll probably just still get it squirted for bugs. Just because if people see bugs, we're going to get complaints about that for sure, you know? Hmm. Yeah, Apothecary Diaries is fantastic. I haven't watched today's episode. I've got a couple, uh... I've got a couple of um, others on today that I haven't watched yet. Yeah, you stream it on Crunchyroll. If you're if you're not a paying member, you can watch all of it up to the current week. You have to watch. You have to wait an extra week to see it if you're if you don't pay for the service. But you can still watch it. I think you might have to watch commercials. I'm not sure. Um, but you go to Crunchyrolls, Crunchyroll.com, and up, go to the release calendar. You'll see today they released a new episode of Apothecary Diaries, but you can find it easily enough there. It's a great show. It's 5.0, which is, it's like the only 5.0 I can think of on all of Crunchyroll. I can't think of a single other one. I've seen, like, everything. <laughs> the highest anything ever gets is 4.9, except for Apothecary Diaries. 5.0. No, 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 Winston's mom. Ha, ha, ha. This is, this is a whole different ball game, okay? I don't give a fuck about that at all. I want... People to come spray bug poison all around the house so that we have no bugs because it is a vacation rental. I don't want any complaints, right? We're not going to spray my house with bug spray, but I'm going to get that place like exterminated out of all the bugs before we start raining it out. Uh... I'm just going to try to minimize things that people are going to complain about, right? Yeah, it's sweet without being corny. It's very, very smart. The main character is great. Uh, it's wonderful. And it's like... 
Um, well, I want to answer that question to you first last. I would say... Um, it's not... It doesn't jump out of the gate, but it doesn't require too much patience of you. Give it a couple episodes is all it's going to take. And when and the, the longer it goes on, the more impressive you realize it is as it intertwines all these crazy storylines together in surprising, interesting ways. It's super compelling. She's a badass. She's such a badass. She's such an ESTP, maybe an ISTP, you know? But it's like the way that it weaves all these different like mystery storylines together where it's not even you don't even realize they are mystery storylines. And then these mysteries all get solved in this one beautiful package. It's just crazy well written, crazily well written. It's an amazing show. But, you know, despite being clearly the best of the new season, it's not actually the, uh, it's not actually my favorite to watch, uh, which is probably going to be like, well, mash and muscles, magic, mash or magic and muscles is delightful, absolutely hilarious and exciting and wonderful. I love it so much. Like, this morning, I had this set of Okay, I'll get it right. The answer is tree. Um... Today I had an assortment of, of delightful things that I wanted to watch, you know. But I thought, okay, well, we got some good stuff coming out today. Oh, yeah. Some good stuff coming out today. All right. That's what I was saying. Hey, I tightened that, and now it's a lot better. <laughs> I should have tightened that a long time ago. We're still getting some cutlet squirrel action out here. You know what else I could do? In theory, I could lower this all the way down to there, maybe. Maybe even a little further, I guess. Hmm. And then maybe I can turn it around. Yeah, you know, without getting in the way of the thing. There. Now I can give you some hot squirrel action. Because everybody wants some hot squirrel action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot squirrel action. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some hot squirrel action. I guess they're out of cutlets now. If I want more squirrel action, I'm going to have to put out more cutlets. I gotta pay the actors, you know. All right, let's put some more cutlets out. What do you say? I normally only do one set of cutlets a day, but today we're gonna splurge and we're gonna make it a two cutlet day, okay? Yeah, that seems fine. We'll show this angle. We'll come back here. And we'll try to get all of it in the camera. To come way back here, though, to do this. All right. There. Now you're going to get to see all the action.
All right. Were you excited by that exciting action? I hope so. You just got to watch me put cutlets on the wall for the Woodland Friends. When we come out next time, what we're going to discover is a bunch of Woodland Friends eating those cutlets. Who have? Who have what? You know, okay. Blue Elvis. Blue Elvis. Yes, I do. Okay. All right, fine. Yeah. Maybe I do need a blower. And maybe you need to shut up. Have you thought about that? <laughs> Have you considered that possibility? Really, what you're saying is, Eric, you need to sweep up your driveway already. Uh, you are saying to me the same thing I tell myself every day. And frankly, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I know I need to sweep that. I know. Oh, you kicked me right in the nuts, Blue Elvis. Right in the nuts. Uh, I, I want to go out there with my broom right now and start sweeping. But I think that calls for a consolatory bong rip. But before I even attempt a consolatory bong rip, let's go. Um, yeah, it's like it feels like getting kicked doing that when somebody points it out. Exactly. <laughs> when someone points out your eight slot failure, it feels like getting kicked in the nuts. I do need to clean them. I do. I tell you who else can really kick me in the nuts or has on a couple of occasions is Fly Guy with his S.E. Dom perspective. It's just like, oh, you're right. My S.E. failed so much. <laughs> and I just feel bad. While we're here, we might as well change the water. Remember what I say, ladies and gentlemen. There's no point in cleaning your bong very well. It'll just get dirty again right away. But it's good to shake out the resin bits a little bit like that, you know. Give this shake, 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 and then when you pour it out, look at all the stuff that comes out. Well, this is my third pour, so I'm not that much going to come out. Um, put a little water in there. Put a little more water in there. Put still a speck more water in there, and then we're good to go. All right. Let's try it like a riot. Let's go and sit some pie in. Hello, React YouTube. My granddad is on Wikipedia. I'm glad to hear. Y'all ever seen movie Bong Water with Jack Black and Dick? No, I've not seen that movie, nor have I heard of it, actually. 
I've got to pull up my pants because my pants is falling down. I've got to pull up my pants. Pray for Palestine, huh? I'm afraid they're probably not going to do any good. Your N.I. is impeccable. I look like that guy from The Walking Dead, Mr. Guy. I don't know what guy from The Walking Dead you're talking about. I've never seen The Walking Dead. I guess it's about uh, about dead people who walk around or what? Or is it about... Is it walking the dead? Like you need to take out the dead people for a walk? Is it the walking dead or walking the dead? Or is it dead walking the? Oh, zombies. I, I know <laughs> walking dead. But <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Try to put your pants on one leg at a time, Ruben, like everybody else. Now, I actually do know what The Walking Dead is about. I have never seen it, but I know what it's about. I was just joking. I was joshing, you might say, if you wanted to use that term. I don't know, if you're one of those kind of people, a term user. I know. We're going slow, huh? Because he tried to put his pants on both legs at a time. Slowed him down. It's 12 years of boring. <laughs> uh, that, that sounds like a good description of The Walking Dead. 12 years of boring. All right, Charles and I, they'll keep that in mind. Um, you know, if Ruben gets over here by 3.15, it's still a good time deal, though. Because I was going to go there at 3. It only cost me 15 minutes to have him come here. That's a good time deal. I blame Pisces for everything. Get out of here, Pisces, I say whenever there's a Pisces around. Do we have any Pisces in here? The black guy said it. <laughs> Get out of here, you Pisces. That's what I say. Because I'm racist against Pisces. Rachel, do I know any Pisces? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm racist against Pisces. 320 is good enough, Ruben. It's still a good time deal, I think. Well, I think they matter a lot, Man and John. That's why I'm racist against Pisces. Oh. Uh, show media is a Pisces, huh? Well, I'm going to have to have a second thought about that guy. Now that I know he's a, one of those filthy Pisces. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Pisces. I don't care at all about astrology. Are you a Pisces, Karma's Pen? I was just pretending to be racist against Pisces. But, uh, I'm not really racist against Pisces. I am a Taurus. Tauruses are famous for not being racist against Pisces. Maricela Vallejo is back again. Hello. Salam. If Baba Prosa. 
I did say so long. I'm only pretend racist against Pisces, right? Your moon is in Pisces. Hey man, can I tell you something? Hi, are you slaying tonight's girlies? Just so YK, I shared my shit. Stan Panty Slay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of insanity is that? Huh? What kind of insanity is that? Equivalently, I feel as Charles the Ninth does that I have never understood. Okay, time out you go. Time out you go. And you're lucky I don't hide you right away. I should probably just hide you immediately. But, you and your filthy ways will not be tolerated around here. It's a family show, okay? This is a family show. We don't put up with that kind of stuff. Tomorrow I'm making harissa marinated beef sirloin with preserved lemon sauce. Well, that sounds good. Yesterday I made some corned beef. Yeah, you did. And it was so good. It was so good. It was like, yeah. Because on St. Patrick's Day, all of us are Irish. <laughs> yeah. That's what they say. That's what they say. I know. You're, what you're saying, you're saying, but today is not St. Patrick's Day, Eric. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Is that right? I think so. It's either the 16th or the 17th. I always get it mixed up. Well, let's find out. Oh, well, it doesn't say there. I'll find it on my phone. I'm a minotaur. Half man, half bull. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. All right, so we'll still have plenty of uh, corned beef for tomorrow. You know, a lot of people call it the best kind of beef, corned beef. Oh yeah. Yeah. Namely me, I call it that. Oh. I really am a big fan of corned beef. When I see a corned beef, I walk up to it and say, I'm going to eat the living shit out of you. You do. Yeah. Too salty, says Simple Girl 357. Simple Girl, I think your taste buds is broken. That's what I think. Okay. Because corned beef is just the right amount of salty. Which is to say very, very salty. <laughs> That's the proper amount of saltiness for something like that. Well, I didn't just make corned beef by itself. There's potatoes in there. There's carrots. There's onions. There's extra salty beef broth. You know, for extra saltiness. Ruben's here. How fun. What is up? Not much. You're here by 3.15. 3.18. 3.18? watch is slow, I guess. I'm all right. <coughs> I think it's an excellent time deal. Thank, Thank you. you for coming over You're here. You're welcome. Corn to some beef yesterday? Uh -huh. hey. Yeah, would you like to have some? I could taste some corned beef. Cool. Are you jealous, Chet? Thank God. Wow, thank you. You're, <laughs> you're a superhuman being of exquisite nature. I'm glad you recognize this. <laughs> what is up, Elvis? Yeah, jealous of that beef. Or beef. 
I think he's jealous of Eric. Because Eric. Yeah. So I think he's jealous of, understandably. What does it mean to corn a beef? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, and I will tell you the answer. To the best of my knowledge, it means to put cover it with peppercorns. Oh. That's where the corn comes from. It's not like corn on the cob, it's like peppercorn. So, I am I'm just going to patiently now wait for the drugs to kick in. And I've got a little bit of a bonus reality today, which is I've been drinking grapefruit juice all day. Oh! Just incidentally. What's that going to do for you? Well, Ruben, thank you for asking the obvious question that I wanted to have asked. Because I have an answer for you. <laughs> Apparently, grapefruit juice destroys this particular enzyme in your stomach that, per, that destroys some of what you take via your stomach. So in other words, if you take a pill, such as this pill, right. then you've been drinking grapefruit juice, then you get more bioavailability of the drug. Nice. <clears throat> I've always used it for, uh, like, apparently it doubles the fat burning effects of caffeine. So, like, I'll uh, drink grapefruit juice with coffee. Well, I'll chug the grapefruit juice and then I'll sip on the coffee and have dessert. <clears throat> I learned it from this book by Tim Ferriss, uh, Four Hour Body. Anybody ever read that? I think he's an INTJ. I'm not sure. Tim Ferriss and his Four Hour Body. Is that too high? Little. You can put it there. Is that too low? No, it's good. Oh gosh. And you can turn it here. That's right. I keep forgetting about this possibility. I keep trying to do it with the tripod, but it's a lot easier to do with the top thing, you know? Uh Oh, this thing? Yeah. There are, there's what a circle about this? on the back. Look at the back of it. You can adjust it if you want. So you turn this circle and then it'll... Okay. What is up, chat? You can tilt it how you want to. Was I in Wilco? I don't think so. Hi, Lou. I just woke up. I feel kind of nasty. Should we call you Miss Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> I am for real, chat. Hi. Tell me some things, chat. You were about to start talking about something, but you forgot what it was. Oh, I got I got Effie hijacked. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what you were going to talk about, so I can't prompt oh, you. Well, I think I was kind of done with the grapefruit um, and Tim Ferriss's book. Oh, Tim Ferriss's book. That's what you were going to talk about. Yeah, Four Hour Body. Um, you were going to explain what that was all about. I mean, I kind of did. I nutshelled it. Well, mm -hmm. What is it about? Uh, the, the whole book? Yeah, what's a four-hour body mean? It's like four hours a month to like get in super shape. Uh, Padawan, no, I cannot. Well, I can sing, but it sucks. Um, but it's like uh, four hours to like lose all the weight you want, or like um, four hours a month. Yeah. To lose all the weight you want. Yeah, it's based on the eighty twenty principle. Like that, the first twenty percent of effort you do, like provides eighty percent of the impact, anyways. Mm. That's so like people waste their time in the gym all the time just yeah. like or like they're on the treadmill um just burning the same amount of calories pretty much that their body would burn just running their body like That's okay well i don't think you successfully nutshelled any of that okay <laughs> thank you eric <laughs> but in my mind you had, I had. <laughs> uh, 
if you want to help yourself to corned beef, please do so. I will. Um, Miami John says, ask Ruben, why do people earn money? Power, sex, that's about it. Power and sex. <laughs> <laughs> is clothing too? That's power or sex. Oh, that's clothing power. gets you sex or power. Sorry. What about <laughs> what about what about groceries? That gets you oh, that's power. True. That's power. Physical okay. power Physical to have power. sex. Groceries gets you the power to have sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what else do we want in life besides power, sex, and money? We want comfort. Comfort. We want to get into bed and say, hi, 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 hi. You're the expert at that. Hi, Isle of White. Yeah, comfort's huge. Had one, um, I would love to do cartoon voices. Uh, Do I improve well? (laughs) I I improv, uh, okay, I guess. So, hello, Isle of White, England, from the peninsula of California. A lot of people don't know it, but California recently transitioned into a peninsula. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what part of it is hanging out into the ocean? I'm not sure. All I know is that California is now landmass fluid. Landmass fluid? Mm-hmm. Meaning it's disconnected? It changes from being part of the continent to being a peninsula to being an isthmus to being an island. It depends. It's an isthmus. What is an isthmus? I don't know. <laughs> How does an isthmus differ from a peninsula? Does anybody know? And also, Manu John, uh, you said people can get power and sex without money, too. I mean, I agree, but do you mm-hmm. have an example? I just don't want to think. I mean, it makes me think of... Uh... Donald Trump, he has power and he was able to get sex because of his power mm. and money. Ew. He's so gross. An isthmus is a narrow land connection between two larger last land masses. Oh, yeah. interesting. It's like a land Language, bridge. Yeah. Alright, well that explains it. So, now we know. Now we know what an isthmus is. Um... How many isthmuses could you isthmus if an isthmus could isthmus isthmuses? This is a question philosophers have asked for a number of years. Hey, it's Chain Matej. Yes, I remember you. Don't ask again. (laughs) (laughs) I think the Isle of Wight is mentioned in 1164. We can travel to the Isle of Wight. If it's not too dear, dear. we can scrim and say... Shut up. Do you know Stephen Mather? How many times when you tell people you're from the Isle of Wight, do they say to you, grandchildren on my knee? <laughs> what are those land bridge looking things in Prussia or Kaliningrad? Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. I don't know Austria Hungary 1899. <laughs> I think you're from the past. <laughs> I think you're a time traveler from the past. If you can hold people to getting you power and sex without money, then you get to it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Man and John just writes uh, fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're you not have supposed to, to understand them. I forgot. They, you know, they don't make understandable sense. They just holistically go, ah. <laughs> yeah. Man and John, are you like a ENFJ or what are you? That sounds very, like, vague. Like, it's like something I would say without editing myself. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if you're asking me about it, isthmuses in Prussia, Austria, Hungary, 1899, you are hitting me not in my zone of expertise. <laughs> no. I would like another uh, Chinese fortune from Manu John, though. Well, how about this one? (laughs) Comfort is just a standard. One can be comfortable sleeping under a bridge. (laughs) I would be so, like, happy with that. If someone points with a fortune cookie thing. (laughs) It really does sound like a Chinese fortune. 
Do you think what goes around comes around is karma? <laughs> karma. Do you think what goes around comes around is karma? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> hmm. This makes sense. Did Hitler's eagle's nest have a drawbridge near Austria? Again, hit me in my... And not an area of expertise. I'm not familiar with the architecture of World War II Nazi Germany, in particular. <clears throat> Didn't Ruben R. do some upside down thing with a guitar? The chat might want to look at that. Ruben Rubeniqueness. You can play the guitar upside down. I don't think so. Oh, that was CJ O'Connell. Uh, I'll take oh, credit. Yeah, I can mean? probably. Right. Doesn't he always play upside down and backwards? Yeah. You mean he's left handed or what? No, he's right handed. He just likes the way it feels and doesn't. Um... He never, he started it that way and never changed it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Blue Elvis Draw, I, I guess I produce music, but not very actively. I've been focused on work and, and love lately. But um, ideally, I would, when I'm most comfortable, and like settled and financially good, that's what I want to be doing. I'd love to produce music and even uh, record some of my own. I just prioritize other stuff. Love, exciting <laughs> and new. Come aboard, we're expecting you. <laughs> the love boat. The love boat. <laughs> Hey, we, meow, 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 meow. It's Lori. This is, it's Ruben. Hi, Lori. Did hey. you watch the Love Boat? I watched some Love Boat, yeah. That was my era of Generation X. So, you know, it was on reruns when I was watching TVs, you know, in late 70s, early 80s. I guess it was probably came on originally in the late 70s, right? Yeah, I think so. Because my mom used to watch it. She is a love ball for a fan. It makes me think of um, Love is Blind. I've been I've been hearing a lot about Love is Blind. <laughs> yeah, we just watched Did you? the latest season of that. Yeah. So, okay, so a lot of people are like, the girls are being getting done dirty yeah. this season. Yes, yeah. Wow, wow. That's like fucking crazy. Um, but, yes, they're getting done dirty also, but I, you know... They gotta be shrewd enough to weed out these guys. Really? Yeah. Because they're not being like... Such shitty dudes. Is it a reality show? It is. It's like, okay, so... <clears throat> there's like... Something like six males and six females. And then... Um, they'll meet up via voice chat. They're like in rooms across from each other. But the screen is like blocked out. So they're just talking to each other. And they do like... Like... Like a rotating, like a speed dating type thing, but it's not speed. It's like they'll spend an hour with one person and then they'll rotate. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll each spend an hour with a different person and then build connections and decide who they love or whatever. First of all, <clears throat> it's so stupid that you're going to go in and get married to one of these people. Oh, like the goal is <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. That's the goal. I didn't and so, know that. Yeah, so people already go in like, oh. I feel like... You don't want to be shamed on TV. You don't want to be the person who gets left at the altar. You don't want to be get the person who doesn't like get fallen in love with. So I think people quote unquote fall in love for the wrong reasons here. They like rush towards it, and it's good for drama though. But and that's why, yeah, it's, a lot of people watch it for the drama. Yeah, and then the guy proposes to to one of the the women, and then they meet each other for the first time after the proposal. Oh my god, what a dumb idea. That sucks. Oh my god, I didn't know that they, they meet each other at the altar. Well, because love is blind, right? So you don't need to see each other. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. What's up, Mavis? I think people are desperate to be on TV. Exactly. Yeah, oh yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, there's a couple real shitty dudes on this last one. I think one's an ENTJ. Oh, really? I think. 
hard to he's tell. gonna have like it can ENTJ like asshole like thinks very highly of himself but um has like set of standards for his wife. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then he's, <coughs> yeah. You look exactly like your PFP. Oh right, Mavis. That is me. <laughs> Same person. You left MASH? I didn't like it. It got too serious. Maybe like the first season or two yeah, was okay. Yeah, but... it did get too serious. You're right. I liked it. Sorry. We kind of helped each other with that. Thank you. I appreciate Spliff's comment. Y'all gay if y'all don't play Clash of Clans. That's true, Spliff's. So I guess... We're all gay. Very gay. <laughs> I am. Super gay. gay. I don't yeah. play that. I don't play it either. I'm open to it though. It's Clash of Clans the one where like they advertise it and there's like a guy with like a square jaw and like yeah. yellow beard and stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That guy's an ENTJ also. <laughs> My mom loved Dal Dynasty and Dallas too. Never, never heard of that. They're like <clears throat> late night soap operas. Oh, I see. Yeah, my these were big during my time, but I didn't like them. Oh, I was just fiddling around with whatever. I don't know. Um. I should. CJ's been gone for a while. Yeah. What do you think happened? I think probably he didn't like being tied to ISFJ. Mm. It seemed to have caused like some ontological dissonance. I don't know, but you know, I thought he was an INFP before you typed him, but then once you typed him ISFJ, it made sense to me. Yeah. When I think of him and Dave Porter, they're very similar. Yeah. I can see it. For whatever it is, it's a very SI-ish thing. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, INFPs get tagged as like being an artistic type, and they are, but it doesn't mean that other types can't be. Like, I definitely think that ISFJs are, are hella creative, too. Well, I mean, exactly. And like my intuition about stuff, like, it's gonna be wrong like half the time. It happens. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just realizing more and more, like, I know it's true that you can't just go on affect and stuff and like uh, jump to the conclusion, but. No. You want to, though, especially with Emma, you want to be able to, like. Well, yeah. Like, I, I want to be able to know that the patterns I see prove out in reality. But just because I'm seeing patterns doesn't mean yeah, that doesn't. they're like function stuff or. Or it necessarily ties to the stack exactly. Yeah. I gotta go get a Red Bull. I'm getting a headache. Mm. The lack of caffeine? Uh, what's that? Because of a lack of caffeine? Yeah, well, for some reason, like, it's cluster headaches I get. Like, if you chug a Red Bull right away, it can, like, stop it in its tracks. But it's not just caffeine. I think it has to do with, like, taurine. I'm not sure why, but it works. I got it in the car. I'll be right back. Hmm. Artist, guitar player, golfer, poker player. Well, I like to play poker, but I'm bad at playing poker. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really play poker. Not always bad. Oh no, you've been winning on blackjack. Yeah, I play. I I do better playing table games than I do. Yeah, you do. At uh, poker. Yeah, you're. Good at table games. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I usually, oh, I'm good at knowing when to walk away from the table. That's good. That's, so, I think that's key. That is really the thing. It is. There's nothing wrong with ISFJ, Padawan. I like ISFJs. I just think he was, he expected, I guess, ENTP or something. Uh, or I, INFP. When you, yeah, he, he, he really did think he was this type. Although, in his typing session, he he came in. He's like, I I thought you were gonna 
say that I was an ISFJ. So there must have been something inside him that was like, oh, maybe I'm an ISFJ. Or just, I don't know, I don't know. But that's a, that's sad because <clears throat> it can be very, um, you know, ontologically disrupting when you think you're a type and then you get a different type. And especially if that- So type, freeing too though, if it's correct. <sighs> Yeah, what is correct? What is correct? A hundred percent. Like, um... That's conscious N.I. talking. Yeah. Yeah, eight slot N.I. Yeah. is different relationship yeah. to it. I see. The thing about True. poker is, the reason I'm not good at it is that I'm not good at, like, hiding my true feelings or intentions or anything. I'm yeah. very transparent. I'm very easy to read. Mm. Yeah. I think... I'm pretty bad at it too, actually. I think I can read people decently well, but I have all these tells I can't control. I'm both easy to read and I don't try to read people. I just try to figure, like, understand, okay, I've got this hand. This is the best possible hand in this context. This is the likely hand. To. You know, I think of it like that, but um, I'm not very good at reading people, to be honest. It's like I can read certain things. Um, like if somebody's a scoundrel, I can usually tell right away. Right. You can do that just general in life. Like you can kind of tell. Do you, is it something overt or you just have an intuition like something's off about this person? Yeah, it's just a, it's just some sort of intuition. I don't know. Mm. Like there's celebrities that like Eric doesn't like and he's like right on the money for not liking them. Who was it who turned out to be a douchebag like recently? Adam Levine? Uh -huh. That guy from The Voice? I could always tell that he was obviously a womanizer, but like to what extent he was like cheating on his wife or something. Piece yeah. Of shit. Yeah. Twice. I think twice. Yeah. He, you could always tell. Yeah. Well, him, him, he's a big for me too yeah. for some reason it's because he thinks he's hot shit which whatever you know Maybe yeah like he's got like, these like tattoos and he can make a love song if you want to hear it and like say that it's yours and you know like some girls like really like fall for that sure but um but you know what song really girls should fall for is this one yep Like, he's talking about himself. He wants you to say that about him. He's like, look at my naked body oh, and think this about gross. me. That's, that's what I. So that's what gross. I felt about that. Yeah. Yeah. Ashton Kutcher kind of has that vibe for me too. Like, kind of like a douchebag. Like, you know, he has to eat. What do they call that shit? In eating grin. Shit eating grin. Yeah. He has a punchable grin. face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I kind of feel that way about him too, but he does like work with like. Like helping child sex trafficking, like I heard about that. Like not helping it. <laughs> <laughs> hurry in it, hurry in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I hate that song. Yeah, so that it, song is so bad. That's it really he, says he's really just being like, oh my god, I'm Britney. Yeah. And he wants you to say that he's beautiful. That's what the whole video is about. No. I'm beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's singing it for himself, really. It feels that way. Oh, my God. It's so, I hated that song. And, and he really was, like, known in Hollywood, too. Like, yeah, like, girls would, he, the joke was that he would get with a girl, like, they would hang out and be like, I wrote this song for you. And he would say, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> get, get with him. What about James Blunt, Lou? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Ah, ah. It sounds kind of like a bird choking, you know? <laughs> ah, ah. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> so anyway, nothing could possibly be more romantic than that song. But, uh, you know, yesterday I was pleased to discover, I think, that we added not one, but two songs to the saddest songs of all times list, thanks to the Beatles. <coughs> Which is to say, we were successfully added She's Leaving Home and um, For No One. She's Leaving Home goes. Da -da 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 For those who can't remember, I couldn't remember it yesterday. I think maybe Blue Elvis gave me the prompt necessary to figure that out. Those are the saddest of songs. The saddest of songs, indeed. Oops. Let me take off the health tube. Go back inside. So that we can all share in the wonder. So James Blunt wrote that song about Carrie Fisher? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe he was watching like Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. And like her and that uh, <coughs> skimpy. Right. Star Wars uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. Right? Yeah. That's where she was cap. Yeah. Right. She was captured and she was wearing the. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she kills. Spoiler, she kills Java by choking him. Oh, yeah. That would be like me writing a song called Hot Woman about Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems really strange. <laughs> okay, okay. He lived at her house. He was at her house when he wrote it. Okay, well, I guess he was her, she was his, yes. her, her boy toy or? Oh, my gosh, probably. Boy, t no, Carrie Fisher's we boy toy. We just think it's odd. Carrie Fisher's boy toy should be the name of his first album. Yes, Carrie, Carrie Fisher's boy toy. I like that little piece of gossip there. That's great, Blue Alvis. Thank you for informing us about this. Eunice Muhammad is back. Welcome back, Eunice Muhammad. <laughs> and Salam. Boba Fan is not here right now. Did you have beef with him last time? You did? Eunice oh, Muhammad did. Classic Eunice. <laughs> I would say classic Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. You can tell you corned the shit out of this beef. It, it came fully corned. All right. <laughs> All right, I will. Thank you, God. <laughs> He's not here. So, you know, maybe you'll find it a little bit more peaceful. I don't know. You gotta just sometimes let him say what he's gonna say and ignore it, you know. There are times in life when you should respond and times when you should ignore. Mm -hmm. True. Words of wisdom from Eric. Delivered from the pulpit on the pinnacle of the rock. So, what did you do to this beef if you didn't corn it? We bought a corned beef, which is okay. already corned. Got it. And we put it in the crock pot and we uh, cooked it for overnight. It's in beef broth. It's, a, it's in beef broth and Guinness. Oh. oh yeah. Which is an important ingredient in to make it extra Irish. Is this alcoholic Guinness? Yes, because I can cook with it. Once you cook it that long, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. Yeah. 
So I I don't want to waste this kind of beer mm -hmm. that I can drink. Did you um did you drink Guinness when you drank? Mm. Oh for sure. And they have a Guinness non-alcoholic that's quite good, but yeah. I can't get it around here. Mm. You drink it warm? No, I drink it cold. Mm. I prefer it cold. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, things, yeah, it's like, it, I am not without things that I miss. It's it's mm -hmm. nice to have that Guinness non-alcoholic, because I don't really have to miss Guinness so much, but, like, I'll never have a non-alcoholic wine that's any good. Sure, I miss mm -hmm. wine, but that's just life in the big city, you know? You're going to have to make some sacrifices in life in order to be happy and not a drunk. Mm -hmm. Eat a raw potato. Don't eat raw potatoes. They're not good to eat. You need to cook them first. Otherwise, you could get some kind of poisonous. Oh, really? Yeah, you're not supposed to eat raw potatoes. I never knew that. <coughs> I think Padawan was saying we have Effie first slot, second slot, and third slot. Yeah. We just need an INTP or an ISTP. Yeah, all right. That's a lot of Effie. Yeah. We'd all be like... We're team players. Yeah. That's what they call us. The Feldman oh, song gosh. is called Comeback King. Who's Feldman? Oh, Corey Feldman. That's some... That's some great A cringe there. <laughs> Comeback King? Just Feldman stuff. Like, you can watch his... Yeah, it's hilarious. You can watch his performances. Um, I saw that one from like five or six years ago. Like, uh, Corey Feldman and the Angels. Uh, something like that. Like, um, Go For It. That song. Oh, gosh. You can tell. It's just he loves Michael Jackson. You can tell. Oh. <laughs> Eric, this... I mean... Should I do this to myself? Yeah. It's the cringe gauntlet. Feldman Comeback King. I've never seen this one, but I can guarantee it's going to be nice and cringe. I have to put the mute on. So I knew an ESFP uh, who reminded me so much of this guy. Ew. Oh, God. No offense, ESFPs. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, God. Any shitty ENFJs? Oh, oh God. my God! No! Ew. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a problem! <laughs> you just stabbed everything and you pull it away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. I would appreciate it. Okay, you can stop this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God. Just real quick. Here. Oh. I know this is cringe. <laughs> all right, all right. I know this is cringe, but just replace Comeback King with Go For It. Okay. You, you probably will not. You, this is going to mess you up for a while, but. <laughs> so good. Uh, why are you doing this, Corey Feldman? I want to see how many views it Oh, there it is. He's this right with <laughs> 2 million views. Okay. Oh, my God. There we go. About 40 seconds into this thing, he's doing a full-on robot dance. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this on the Today Show? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, Corey Feldman. I think they're at the pre-chorus right now, building up. On oh, these poor women. <laughs> these poor women who have to be in his band. Okay, do the dance, Corey. Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. Go for it. That's what they're saying right there. Break down. <laughs> oh, I think we may have missed it. Oh, oh. Corey Feldman. This is so, like, ew. Is it right here? <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, he starts with it, I guess. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to learn that. No, just kidding. There you go. Oh, God. Sorry, I used to have a buddy. When we go out to like a bar or something, he'd just start dancing like this. Oh, God, Corey Feldman. <laughs> I'm like, this is my room. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. 
Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, ow. Look at me go. Look at me go. All right, Corey Feldman. That oh, my was gosh. That is so funny. Absolutely and horrible. <laughs> absolutely horrible. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I can't listen to it. I can't listen to it without it makes me feel just like going up and slapping him in the face. <laughs> yeah, it makes me cringe about myself. I don't know why. It's just so powerful. Uh, Ew. It didn't make me laugh. Like <laughs> she's so cool. Yeah. <sighs> Those poor women in his band, don't you feel bad for them? No, oh, yes. But one of them looked like she was into it. I think one of them was dating him. Oh, jeez. Because he, he's still trying to be like some. Truther. Youngster. Oh, I see. Well, this was like. Seven years ago, not that long ago. No. This was a few months after he had just done his expose about, you know, the serious issues like pedophiles in Hollywood. And, you know, his buddy Corey Haim was abused. He was abused. And so I understand he's got some things messed up with him. But um, this was right after that. Eric got his face. Yeah. Uh, Ride through town, jam, and come back king. No. I haven't heard it at all, and I can just tell you now. I feel bad about, like, talking shit, but do you all think that he actually thinks he's that cool, or is he, like, putting on a thing? Oh, that's a good question. I feel to some degree all ESFPs are putting on a thing. I see. Okay, but the thing is, if he's putting on a thing, why is he doing it so poorly? <laughs> Maybe he's, like, he feels like if he does it good enough, people will believe it. Maybe it's a joke for money. I don't know. I don't I think, think he's, he's that smart. Money. He's no. not that smart. No, he's not. I, I think he... There's no smart way to do that, really. Right. What is it when the imposter syndrome? Like, he, like, he thinks he's this, like, cool-ass dude. And he portrays himself as to what he thinks is cool. Yeah, exactly. But he's not. So it's like the inverse of imposter syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He should have. Yeah, he should have it. But. It should be insecure, but isn't. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I think, honestly, to some degree, all ESPs have that. Mm. Do you all feel like you all have that to some extent? Like, mm -hmm. no? I mean, because, like, I feel like I'm sometimes just falling apart, and I'm just, like, keeping it together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely... Yes, and the bug... Is praying mantis. You have a bug wiener, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a praying mantis. <laughs> You're gonna go in there and test the dance out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. He calls himself Fell Dog, huh? <laughs> Fell Dog. Fell Dog the Magnificent. There's nothing. He's what a strange name. You know what I call myself? Eric. Sometimes host Eric. Oh, Corey Feldman, what are you doing? Can't you tell how Horribly sad this is. Oh, Corey Feldman, what you doing? I can't watch this jazz. Surely you got a little more awareness than this. Surely you can see the stuff you're making is just piss. And would you stop for everybody's sake once and for all? Once and for all. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Clap, chat. Clap. You 
I'll help me put in some of the crumbles. I could. Thank you. Putting in the crumbles is one of my jobs. Putting in the crumbles. I like putting stuff. I like pushing stuff. Yeah, I like putting stuff. All right. I'm going to put some stuff in here. We're going to get some crumbles for Rachel. I bet you those women on Love is Blind chose guys that were like Adam Levine and James Blunt. <clears throat> yeah. Like, but, could the audience tell that these dudes were like no good? I mean, I'm a pumpkin. Know. I remember you. Acacia and I could. She hated them, you know? Wow. You know, because he's. She hated what? These dudes, these disingenuous dudes from Love Love is Blind. Oh. You don't get to see much of the audience reaction. Like, I didn't look at any. We just kind of binged it. But for both of us, it was pretty... Like, for her, it was genuinely upsetting. For me, it was more entertaining. But, like, ooh, I felt for these people. But uh. it doesn't affect me in the same way. I have that part. I'm here for the entertainment. I want the shit show to continue and stuff. Yeah. It seems like there was an INFP on the last season. Oh, really? It seems like it. It's so hard to tell, but mm. she did seem like an INFP. One of the girls I was dating, one of the shitty dudes. Oh, no. Yeah. And he kept gaslighting her and stuff. Like, <gasps> really? Yeah, like they'd have arguments or like she'd be like, um, hey, you didn't even kiss me today. And he'd be like. That's because your lips suck ass. Right. Well, you'd be like, you're being kind of needy. Like, <laughs> you wanted to have sex. I didn't want to have sex. Like, what are you doing? Like, wow. Yeah. Um, and she's like, okay, well, then I won't want to have sex anymore. You know, it's like. Yeah. Uh, People need to have a good understanding of what, when, what kind of behaviors are acceptable or not, you know? And be able to recognize those things. Yeah, let's see mm -hmm. right yeah, and he, he was able to turn the tables on her, <clears throat> even though she was being completely, completely fine. Like, she was just saying, this hurt, hurts my feelings. That's it, like, really. And he was saying, um, you doubt me? How dare you? All this bullshit. Like, instead of actually addressing what she was saying. Mm. She was being super sweet. Um, a... <sighs> what a douchebag. Yeah. But Thank he had this her. kind of look, like a good old... Country boy, nice guy. Really? I'm, I'm nice as well. can be. Except I'm actually a complete douchebag. Yeah, that's tough. How horrible. But, spoilers, Chad? She's going to be fine. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> really, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. That is good. What if I can make it further, like less zoomed in? Rather than more <laughs> zoomed in. They're having these interactions, but they haven't actually seen each other, though, right? Right. I mean, for the first couple episodes, they're just chatting. Um, oh. With then, then they get to see them one body part at a time. <laughs> right. Yeah. That would be a good twist, huh? Right. Depends what body part you start with. You start, you start like, with a finger, you know? Right. And you're like, nah, dog, I'm out. <laughs> that would be a good kind of idea for a show. You show one body part at a time like that, and you know you get say, okay, you pass this week, and then what are you saying? I think that's a good concept. For maybe, the show, right? maybe. What would you call it? Um, one body part at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, somebody said uh, it's kind of like Marty Glenn. Yeah, a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That sounds like Louisiana. Oh, Blue Elvis. Maybe parts of Louisiana. I mean. Now you call it Naked Hangman. <laughs> yeah. They can have them play Hangman on my too, you know. <laughs> right. Padawan. My wife watches that show. The one girl said she looked like Megan Fox. And when the guy seen her, he was disappointed and called her out on it. That's the INFP. I think she's an INFP. Um, and, you know, the thing is, she didn't say that she looked like Megan Fox. She said that other people have said that she looks like Megan Fox. There's a big difference. Oh, my God. So this dude, 
And, oh, yeah, and so God. he's like, what? I mean, and she kind of does look like Megan Fox. There's like a very, I can see why people tell her that. So, um, but yeah, it was completely irresponsible, that guy, to, um, to react the way he did. This whole show is a setup for toxic relationship interaction stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it, I think that's why people watch it, too. Yeah, that's why I watch it. Yes, you do have to watch it, Blue Elvis. It's fun. I love it. Um, Gyalt, my brain is so fried from Abilify. Can't stop taking it because then I'll be screaming at voices again. And he is deeply suppressed. Sorry to hear that, Gyalt. There might be something else, though, that you can <laughs> take. Abilify for a while. It worked for me, but um, they took me off of it, and then they gave me or was I on Abilify? I don't remember, but yeah. it could be useful to try and change it up. Talk to your doctor. Well, they do have the show accordingly, according to Padawan Rainbow in England. But you know what? I want to change my show concept a little bit from naked hangman to naked battleship. Okay? okay. So each of your body sections, like you know, <laughs> left arm, right arm, is like a battleship, right? <laughs> Butt, crotch, torso, you know, or stomach, you know, back, boobs, leg, whatever. And then you try to shoot it, and you hit like one part of the leg, and you sunk that whole part, then they have to reveal that part to you. Right. Ah. <clears throat> I hate battleship. Uh, got got it, Winston's mom. Winston's mom says that my cartoon doppelganger is Cosmo Allegretti from Captain Kangaroo. Who is my cartoon doppelganger? Yeah. Is it Doofenshmirtz from, um, from Phineas and Ferb? Don't make me Doofenshmirtz. Actually, I already know who my cartoon uh, doppelganger is. It's obviously Rick from Rick and Morty. Oh, I, I, yeah. I had people tell me that so many times, but you used to have them tell me that all the time. Except you're not trying to get us to do all this TE. Yeah, I don't have nearly as much TE as Rick. That's where they get the ENTP wrong in, in him. Hmm. I think right. with all the TE that he does. Yeah, he's like a... Um... Rachel's not. Are you on Zyprexa? I am on Zy. I'm on the. Um, <clears throat> what do you call Alanzapine. it? Olanzapine. Yeah, I'm on the uh, non brand. Right. She's, instead of taking Zyprexa itself, she's just taking a combination of Olanzapine and Prozac, which is what Zyprexa is. Olanzapine is Zyprexa. Oh, Olanzapine is mm -hmm. Zyprexa. Mm -hmm. Oh. So. A curious George's dad, the man in the yellow hat, Blue Elvis? That's not his biological father. Right. I don't know if you know that, Blue Elvis, but that's actually. He stole him from the forest. Or the jungle. My TE just manifested and saying fact recall. That's more of an SI thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Padawan, <clears throat> got it. Yeah. Again, she said people said she looked like Megan Fox. She did not tell him. That she looked like Megan Fox. Big difference. People say I look like Megan Fox I mean, all the time. I kind of do. A lot. Yeah. No, she doesn't smile. No. She's like, she was, yeah, sexy. Yeah, exactly. Go. I'm too sexy to smile. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys watch the new Halo show? Nope. No. No. That's three solid no's. Is it good? I would doubt it is, because, oh good, yeah, exactly, because the past attempts seem pretty crappy. The guy earlier said you look like Shaq. Yeah, somebody told me I looked like Shaq. <laughs> I've, I've never heard that before. Never heard that <laughs> Maybe your transgenderness is showing through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, although I think or Shaq's trans... also a man, but... It's... <laughs> or transracial is what I meant. Oh. Right, right. Well, I wasn't even black at all today. You weren't? No. 
I was Icelandic for most of the morning. <laughs> That seems like, uh, to me, I don't know, S-I-N-E, conscious, uh, yeah, somewhere along those lines. I recall, I've got good fact recall or detail recall for things that I'm interested in as well. Okay, well, that's fine, Gil. I don't want to talk about typology anyway. <laughs> um, okay. King of gold gaming. What's gold gaming? Is it better than silver gaming? It has to be. Let's see. <clears throat> what did you see when you looked uh, uh, up close? It was, it was weird. I, I felt like I was going to get more clarity and then it didn't. It almost looks like a little gold bug like uh, with lobster pincers. Like going... <sighs> Who's Mr. Beast? He's this um, rich dude who... He uh, just gives away a ton of money for... That's his whole YouTube thing. He gives money away? Yeah, he'll like... Yeah. <clears throat> like, do, like, quizzes. Like, he'll go to, like, a store and then talk to people and be like, okay, for $10,000, ask him whatever, and then he'll give it away. They'll be like, seriously? He'll be like, yeah, serious. Um, very awkward. It sounds awkward. Yeah, it is. It's like, it almost seems forced. Like, it is forced. How tall is Mr. Beast? He is, uh, he's six foot one. I don't know how tall Mr. Beast is. I think he's at ENTJ. Shaw yeah. looks funny with a pop gun can or gun in his hand. Who's Shaw? Jeff Shaw? <laughs> I don't know what he is. <laughs> oh. He was retracted because he must have had a typo or something. For some reason, I thought he'd be like five. Yeah, eight. me too. Hold on. Maybe. I'm gonna ask Google. <laughs> I'm gonna say five eleven. If he's in the five foot range, it's gotta be five eleven. Is Mr. Five eleven? I'm with saying some five nine. Big big sneakers. We'll see if we get a response here. Oh shit! Six two. Six two. Wrong. I tell. Um, I was picturing him as being short. Yeah. You know what? I bet you that you're not. You never get an answer for if you Google it. Mm. How tall is host Eric? You I would know. not. You would not get. You would not get me. I'm sure. So we'll find out. Let's find okay. out. Two hundred forty-five million subscribers. Ugh. No, it comes up with Eric Andre. That sucks. What do you mean, almost died in 9-11? They uh, paraglided down some falling refuse mm -hmm. from one of the collapsing buildings. The 9-11 paragliders. Oh, yeah. Would you guys go on a Mr. Beast video? What would your suggestion for a video idea? I mean, I, what would be my suggestion? Like, how to give away money? I forget what his video topics are like. I mean, there's not really any good way to do that, I can think of. But, you know, you could, uh, you could make a video about talking to Eric one time. You know. Yeah. I'm looking at um Oh yeah. Eleven G, that sucks. Eric's uh personality database profile. Mm -hmm. And he like his lowest percentage is the N. Sixty eight percent think that he's an E N T P. So there's mm -hmm. clearly some people who like still think they're an ESTP. Eric? Yeah. If you want, if you, Google host Eric TWFP, did you have you Googled? I, I, well, I did host Eric talking with famous people. Okay. So what are the top five results for Winston's mom wants to know? Your ch the channel talking okay. with famous people, Cora. Okay. 
Uh, C.S. Reddit, uh, C.S. Joseph versus Eric Strauss. Uh, New Type Police, Eric huh. Strauss talking with famous people, then the personality database. Which uh, Type Police episode is it? Let's see. The beef is good, Elvis. The beef is good. My oh. profile picture is a gold tiger. It's not a gold tiger. It's a bug with lobster claws. What is your question for Ruben? You can ask as many questions as you want. Anybody, always, regardless. They don't have to answer them. So you can always ask them. Yeah. In this, uh... I don't really get lonely. Um, yeah, go ahead, Angela. No, answer the question first. Well, I mean... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's tough. I, that, I do, there, I will feel lonely like every few years or something. It'll like hit me if I feel lonely. But how do I say productive and creative? Creative is a tough one for me. Productive, it just, I just wake up and I have to move. Um, but um, creative, I really have to be in a good place, I think. The, the lonely thing is throwing me off. I, I don't really feel that that much. Um, this channel makes me feel not lonely plenty of times. So I, it's possible that it would have a similar effect for you. Maybe it, right. it's less impactful for you because you're in the chat rather than on a camera. I don't know why that would make a difference. But... No, it, yeah, it does help. I mean, I, I do. I think I naturally find communities and stuff and maybe that's why i'm never lonely because or like i play games and those have people interactions in it but i'm generally kind of a loner um alex jones vibes today show media um is it the voice uh ruben how many lawn chairs does it take to fill a football stadium do you mean just the ground floor or like all the way up to good question thank you good question ruben None of us know any nuclear launch codes, okay? <laughs> no, we are not siblings. <laughs> Rachel and Ruben are not siblings. They are unrelated. Um, how do you say your name? Squiggles Jaw. Squiggles Jaw. Okay. You want? If you want to tell me how to say your name, Squiggles Jaw. Then I'll call you by that name instead of Squiggles Joel. Uh, the chair is all the way up. Okay, I'm just going to guess like a general archetype of a stadium. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of chairs. Like 3.281 million. That's a lot of chairs. It's a ton of chairs. Tell me what your poll is, show me the and then I'll tell you if I'll do it. I'm going to ask how many, what's the average amount of chairs in a stadium? What, football stadium or soccer stadium? But that's just going to tell you the amount of seats. Yeah. Are we talking about folding chairs? I, I, I mean, was, can we I, fold up the chairs? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I was so imagining. I'm, I'm thinking, so what I was imagining was the stadium seats that are regular plus mm -hmm. the field. Mm-hmm. Right? So if we know the average amount of seats in the stadium, we can kind of guesstimate how many more chairs would be on the field. You know, but what throws a wrench in that is they said all the way up to the, the oh. roof also. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah. But I guess you could imagine how many to cover the, the ground floor and then imagine how many layers of that would go up. Kind yeah. Of. No, I'm not doing that poll show media. I'm not doing that poll. No, that is not a good poll. Yeah. What if somebody gets no votes? Actually, though, I do. If I haven't had my cards read in a while. How about. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Show me. How about you just submit your vote? Yeah, you can submit your vote. Heartbroken? You're heartbroken. That's a good answer. Thank you, Squiggles Jaw. Squiggles Jaw <laughs> has a. That's a good Squiggles Jaw is the only gentleman around this chat, apparently. <laughs> but what if I sometimes think that you're cute? 
Well, that's fine, but I don't want to win it. I don't want to win no, that poll yeah, over you. Yeah, right, right. And yeah. you might be. Yeah, I don't your subjectives really might be influencing you here. Yeah. I mean, if I lose to trouble, then like, yeah. whatever. Because obviously. Thank you, show. The, yeah, it's either Rachel or Trouble. Just close it out. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Walter White. Okay, y'all. <laughs> yes, no, yeah. he's. If I were Walter White, I'd have a lot more math. Somebody <laughs> called you Ari Shafir, though, right? Like, recently? And that one might be a decent... Who'd they call me? Ari Shafir. I don't know he's who a that comedian, is. but he's at EMTP also. Oh. And I could see that one. Okay. Well, it depends on the stream. But, yeah, some of them I get really good views in a few hours, and some of them I, I don't... The, they don't do so well, you know. I don't like cowboy accent. It sounds very annoying. You think it's cowboy? Cowboy has, accent. You who mean has cowboy like cowboy accent, or like we all, all three of us have a cowboy accent. Oh, Y'all better get out of town <laughs> before I bust out my six shooter. Yeah. Like that kind of cowboy I'm accent. I'm gonna go make some pie in the kitchen. You gotta go make some pie in the kitchen. Yes, I am. <laughs> Blue Elvis. For y'all have. I watch it all the time. Kill Tony, I've never seen it, no. It's in Austin, so Acacia and I want to go check it out. That's cool. Okay, show, you're on the right track, I think. It's, uh, it's so weird. You, you express things like an INFP kind of, but when you talk, yeah. it's, it's hard like, to so, tell I, it is. through chat. Like, honestly, Eric thought that I was either an ISFP or ISFJ because of the lack of interaction that I had in the chat. Right. But I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I was wrong with my wronging bone. I, mean, I feel pretty clueless a lot of the time about type. I just have to like ask questions and then like think about it because my intuition will throw me off. Like, yeah, sometimes I'll nail it, but. Other times I'm just way off. So am I. Yeah. But that's an I though. Right. That's a thing. Oh, uh, show media. Let's see. He's back between ENFJ and INFP. And the thing is about SE self reporting, it, it seems like everybody reports themselves as having problems with procrastination, or like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then the more, even the more SE ish people, they're going to give themselves a hard time about the SE and I don't know it's like really hard to tell but I wrote a lot of notes when I was talking to show media he just seems to have like a, a strong sense of his FI interesting yeah but like yeah I think I could see myself being that way if I didn't have as easy as a life as I have had maybe So hard. Yeah. Days ago, I was thinking INFJ because I'm TI selfish. NITI live in my head about things when left alone in my head. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of get that way too. It's like when I'm serious, I get, I'm like, part of me is very quiet, very introspective, serious. Blue Elvis, I don't know what type you are. I should have been paying attention. Probably some FE type. I don't know. Maybe SEFI procrastinate less. SEFI procrastinate more. Is that a typo? Okay. Thank you, Elvis. Right, type. Thank you. I like this game. Type all of us in the chat room and based off our chat interactions. Oh my God. See, if I wasn't SI polar, yeah, I am Spanish, uh, Squiggles. Uh, I'm Spanish, Portuguese, Irish. Uh, yeah. Type you, Lamau. F-E, S-E, procrastinate more. F-I, S-E, procrastinate less. Yeah, I mean, so I'm F-E, S-E. Um, I don't know how you verify that. Do Mm -hmm. SE, and they do procrastinate. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, um, 
Oh, Here's the thing, like, Delilah, like, <clears throat> will procrastinate on... Come on, CNAP, you need to shut your mouth. We're going to hide you. Um, I'll just to put you in the corner uh, for a yeah, second or somebody. But, um, oh, respectfully, thank you, never mind. Respectfully. Okay. Just to take a 10 seconds to think about what you've done. Yeah. Okay. So Delilah, yeah. she can procrastinate, um, and she's SESE. Uh oh, see, I've got time. Uh, mm -hmm. 10 seconds. Ten oh, that's seconds. fine. I'm not busting your chops about it all. I'm saying CNAP's in trouble. That's right. If Ruben times you out, you <laughs> fucked up. The third rank is here. Well, I'm sure you must receive a welcome reception wherever yeah, you go. Yeah, definitely. Everyone <laughs> wants to have that at a party. Oh, I thought you said if Ruben timed you out, the third rank is here. But the Third Reich is literally here. <laughs> <laughs> Those two statements were unrelated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we have some interesting people come around here sometime. We really do. Of late, we had a person named Anager. There's one way of pronouncing his name. And, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he, uh... He disappeared after he told a story about how he reported somebody for saying his name and got them in trouble. And here alone, I busted his head like, that's shitty of you. Yeah. And, and then he left a comment, I think, saying, you're right, that was shitty of me. And then he never came back. Aww. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Sad. Maybe he renamed himself. Maybe he's Squiggles. I don't know. I wish I knew Squiggles. what he said. How to read Squiggles. Um, Squiggles Jaw. Squiggles Jaw is his name. <laughs> oh, you changed your username for Ramadan this month. But Eric called me Son of Earth. Oh, you're Son of Earth. <laughs> we are silly pagans. It's true. I'm definitely I mean, a pagan. I'm a Christian, but I'm also... Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian, too. <laughs> Squiggles is the first part of your name. <laughs> Jaw is the second part of your name. Okay? <laughs> what is Squiggles? <laughs> Squiggles says, what is Squiggles? <laughs> There's an emoticon for communists? I guess so. Uh, okay, why are you promoting communism if you're the third right? Are you supposed to be fascist? This is for you, Rachel. Queen of Cups. You're just pouring mm -hmm. cups of juice all over your face. That's, that's how, look how I, look at how they, <laughs> That's how, how you drink, drink yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm hiding you. You're just spamming. Goodbye. Third Reich. If you could manage to just not spam. Son of Earth. Is Son of it? Earth, what are you disappointed for? Pre Princess of Pentacles. <gasps> Ooh. We're just oh, being ignorant. Do? Yeah, we're just being just ignorant. Ooh, and this one popped right out. Look at that. Party time, <gasps> celebration, three of cups. Oh, cool. that's like us right now. Party nice time. read, thanks, I really needed uh Yeah, we're having that party right now. There are three of us, there are mm -hmm. three people on three of cups. It's me, Ruben, and Rachel. And we're experiencing the cup fall of all of you. Thank you, get evil off your channel. Okay, I will try to get any evil off of my channel. Can you spot any evil? Or do you want you still? No, 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 no. I don't spot any evil. Do you know that people dig up old national generals to steal metals and swords and sell them on the black market? Huh. Really? Yeah. No, I did not. I did not know that. It suddenly smells like raw fish. I'm confused. I'm confused now, too. Getting evil off of my channel every single day. Can you pull a car for yourself or some cars for yourself? Because I think it's your day to find out what you get. All right. With that song, how could I resist? <laughs> I got strength. Oh, that's a really good car to have. 
Mm -hmm. I got two rats and a pig. Says Shane Lydia. I got death. Wow. And I got the chariots. <gasps> wow. I'm a triple major arcana kind of guy. Yeah, you are. You've gotten, you have strength because you've gotten over your colds. Death, you're transfer, you're transforming. Gonna transform, yeah. yeah, and you're gonna trans, getting stuff for to transform the house. And then you're like the chariot. You're like, let's move, move, move. I got some schmatterall. Yeah, let's go, motherfuckers. Let's go. Like that. Yeah. So good for me. If anybody else would badly like one of these three card pulls, I would pull for you. Say the word. Maybe Gail. See if he gets any wands. Show media. Show media seems says first. So. Yeah. Piao. Uh oh. <gasps> The tower. The tower. Well. So, like, you thought you had this firm foundation. You're like, this is the way it's going to go. But boom! The, the rug gets pulled right out from under you. Fortunately, that's the first one. Mm hmm Better for that to get that out of the way right at the beginning. Yep. This one. Queen of Torches. Rachel, what do you think that one means? This is first show media. You're in charge of your creative passions, and you might be followed by a cat today. Also, ten of pentacles. Home and hearth. Home and hearth. Heart. So just stay away from the tower. Just move away from it. Realize, yes, some shit's on fire right now. This is fine. Okay. And ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles your way into some ice cream. You're probably missing that girl, am I right? You're missing that girl. Yes, yes, you're gonna miss that girl. You're gonna miss that girl because she went to Europe. Okay, now, next up, Paddle on Range Bender said they want one. Then Lou. Paddle on Range Bender gets the sun. Sun, 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 here it comes. You're, you're, the sun is in the sky and you're hugging it. Next, you get the Princess of Cups. It's like, ooh, it's breezy out. Is this the last part of my drink? My emotions feel good right now. I like sailing. Yeah. And lastly, for Padawan Range Bender, the Five of Torches. Ooh, got a lot of cooks in that kitchen. Is this too many cooks in the mm -hmm. kitchen? Yeah, but... You could describe it the, the way it looks too. You know? Which is, you you gotta carry all these torches up a hill while walking up a hill. It's difficult. Yeah. You know? It's difficult. You don't want to drop your torches. You don't want to fall down the hill. Cool. Blue all right. Straws. Next is Lou. Then first last. Then Squiggles Jaw. All right, Lou. Let's see what the spirit guides have to say for you. First one popped right out is Prince of Pentacles. The Prince of Pentacles. What does so, that mean? I mean? It's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go out and have a nice lunch today. Spend a little bit of money that, you know. Yeah. See it. And she's spending time with a Taurus because this is a bull. So she's been hanging out here with us. Her second card is... Also, Five of Torches comes out again. So, it can be a little bit tricky climbing up that hill while carrying your torches. Alright, last one from Loose Spirit Guides. Oop, this one. Came right out. The Three of Torches. Well, this is kind of a sad looking card. You're sitting there, you got your torches. It's like you're waiting for something to come out of the dark. Waiting for something to come out of the dark. And just hope it's not a boogeyman. All right. They Who's... are cute. Actually, Ruben and Acacia got them for us. Next is first, last, and then we have Squiggle's Jaw. 
aka Son of Earth. There's a twofer, never take a twofer. Alright, so next we've got first last. First last spirit guides, tell me what you say. Hey, you got the knight. It's a special card in this deck. In this deck only. So maybe you haven't been sleeping or you've been having nightmares or you've been having a lot of dreams. Or it could be just thought of as the time before the day. True. It could be nighttime where you are. First last, you also get the two of swords. You've got a decision to make. Should you choose option A? Should you choose option B? Whichever one you choose, you'll see that is the one that you have to deal with. Okay? Now, let's find out your third card according to your spirit guides. Oh, that's a twofer. Never take a twofer. Your spirit guides are restless today, first last. There. Finally, they spit out the correct card. The fool. Ooh. The fool. You're taking a trip. You might fall off the hill, but you'll be okay. You gotta watch out, because it looks like you're gonna walk over the edge of the cliff there. But probably... It's just a little hell. It's not as big as a lot. Yeah, you're probably gonna be fine. Alright, so that's you, first last. You're... Making a decision at night, which is the foolish time to make a decision. All right, next we've got Squiggle's Jaw. <laughs> um, Squiggle's. Squiggle's Jaw's Spirit Guides. Spirit Guides of Squiggle's Jaw's. Here you go. Uh-oh, Three of Swords. This is the Heartbreak <laughs> card. Heartbreak, but at least you got it first to get it out of the way. That one just means heartbreak. Maybe somebody broke your heart. I'm not sure. Six of Swords. Now this one, you feel like you got to carry somebody up a hill. You got to hold on to swords, which are sharp. You could potentially cut your hand. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not sure what exactly that card means, but that's my interpretation of it. Now, Squiggles Jaw Spirit Guides. Oh, you screwed that one onto the ground. Four of torches. In this case, you seem to have some kind of telekinesis. You're able to have the torches ready. You're going to shoot them out like a jutsu, maybe. So, you know. Congratulations. What do you think four of torches means, Rachel? Um, harmony. Harmony. Oh, that's good. Harmony and balance. It's better than his first card. What was his first card? The Three of Swords. Oh! Wah, 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 wah. Right. All right, anybody who didn't get one, want one? Acacia. What is the name of this deck? Acacia, Acacia yes. sure. Acacia. We didn't do Ruben either. Oh, yeah. Acacia. Her spirit guides have the chariot. Ooh. That could mean she's going to have a bowel movement. She is. She is. Oh, this one popped right out. The Fool, Chariot and the Fool. She's going to explore and... She's going to explore the poop. Yeah. She's going to play. And what is this? The Two of Cups. Aww. Aww. It's the soulmate card. How romantic. Look, it's Ruben and Acacia. Yeah. They're holding each other's hands and loving and praying. See that? That's beautiful. That's, so That's great. <coughs> okay, good cards for Acacia. What is the name of this deck? It's called the... Cosmic Slumber Tarot. The Cosmic Slumber Tarot. It's not a loaded deck. Junior Oliviera. Here you go. Oh, this one popped right out. The Hanged Man. The Hanged Ooh. One, it says, actually. The Hanged One. The hanged One. Upside down in your spotted pajamas. Huh. The Devil. 
So you got to watch out. Don't take too many of whatever drugs it is you're taking, okay? And lastly, the Nine of Cups. Rachel, you want to explain the Nine of Cups for us? Well, usually the Nine of Cups is the wish granted card. Um, and I think it is. Like, this girl is just, like, overwhelmed by the cups that she has behind her. She's like, wow, look at all this. These feelings and these things that I wanted. And then she sees the... I think three that are in front of her or four that are in front of her and she's like, oh, there's more to get. Let me go get them. Mm. So that kind of goes along with the devil. You're like, I have all these drugs. I can keep doing more of them. Yeah. Uh, Rasheen Logan wants one. Sure, Rasheen Logan. No problem. Here you go. Let's see what Rasheen Logan spirit guides have to say. Spirit guides of Rasheen Logan, tell me your words of wisdom. This one, the Magus. That's like the magician. The magi magician card means, you know, you're like, I can do it like this, I could do it like that, I could do it like this, I could do it like that. I could try all four of your different ways of doing it. Hit the like button. You would hit Satan in the face if you could. <laughs> thank you, son of earth. Not son of, you're not just squiggles. Son of earth, thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rasheen Logan, you get this one. It's called the Queen of Cups. As you see, you're just like, I just pour all this shit all on my face. <laughs> all right. I got that too. Yeah. And the last one you get is the Eight of Torches. Uh, this one doesn't look so good. It looks like maybe you're falling down. What is it? Eight of Torches. Oh, that's like, yeah, it's like, it has to do with speedy action. So it's like, you're probably rushing and you fell down. All right. So careful. Don't fall down. Don't be too hasty. You're the Magist, but, and the Queen of Cups, but don't rush it. Uh, Eunice, why are you pressuring us to make a choice? I guess... I'm going to have to say Mauro Icardi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pressure me, man. Yeah, maybe we're, maybe we're just... What's that second one? Adding Dezeko. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I am confused. Icardi for the win. All right. I'm going to do a poll. Uh -huh. I'm going to do a quick poll here. This one's a little different than the poll that we suggested there, which is similar. Which is better? Minecraft? <laughs> oh, okay. Minecraft? Or Mario Kart? Oh, that's so easy that's for me. Answer. Which is better? Minecraft or Mario Kart? Mario Kart! Hi, Israel Wallace. Israel says, dude, I was here earlier and some guy asked if you read tarot cards and you said no, lol. And I come back and now you are lol. I didn't say no, I wasn't. I don't read them. I just said I, this is not a tarot reading it's channel. It's not, no. Rachel asked me to read some tarot cards because she likes that. But I don't normally read tarot cards. I mean, it's not what I do, when I'm you know. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I do. I, That's it's, true. it's just, you do. it's just not like, you know. For every six hours of content, there's a little bit of tarot cards, maybe. I still have to ask Rachel what different tarot cards mean. If I'm gonna do cards, I actually prefer like these cards. I think a lot it's of times. Really, it's so funny. Those I. These are pretty I'm fun. I'm very judgmental towards those cards. Maybe because, like, my ISFJ sister gave them to me, so I feel mm -hmm. that they're not that intuitive. Well, I like the game we play with them. Yeah. I'm going to play it now with Israel Wallace, okay? How about palm reading, Rachel? What do you think? <coughs> oh, bullshit. Rachel calls bullshit on palm reading, Pat. Okay, really. I have this, I can, uh... the line that connects the love and the... Or I forget what it is, but oh, on both ends. My, I have, like, a braid, like... Crisscrossing, right? Where they connect, so that's like supposed to be bad, like any sort of crossing. But that 
You have a long period. It's all the way, like. Yeah, and your lifeline is really long. Okay, Israel, you've gotten really two words long. so far. Peace it, and caution. I mine's broken. Okay. And then you got consci consciousness. Yeah, consciousness. Straight, no breeding. It's this one. And you've got down. mystery. Okay, so what we do with these cards, Israel, is like this. Oh, your message okay. from your spirit oh, guides okay. is... And it actually meets up with, I think, about like the fate line or something. Uh-oh. Yeah. Windows 2 on this one. Um, what, who are you pulling for? This, this is for Israel. Israel Wallace. It says... The mystery of peace can be found in the caution of consciousness. Ooh. The mystery of peace can be found in the caution of consciousness. The mystery of peace can, can be, be found, found in the caution, caution of consciousness. The mystery of peace is found in the caution of consciousness. The mystery of consciousness. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Mysterious, huh? What do you think, Israel Wallace? Pretty mysterious. <laughs> Israel said, yo, I didn't ask for that. Well, oh, too bad. Too bad you got it anyway. Your spirit guides are talking to Israel, you. Israel, the mystery of peace. The mystery of peace is found in the caution of consciousness. Yeah. You don't even know what it's supposed to be because it's mysterious. That's why. It's spiritual. Okay? Listen, just... Recognize that I'm providing you illumination. Just reject, don't, don't reject illumination, okay? I'll read for you, I'll post it for you. All right, thanks, darling. You're welcome. The mystery of pizza can be found in Italy. Maybe you can. I hear they don't have, uh, Tomato sauce or marinara sauce on their pizza there. Yeah, my dad uh, went to Rome like a couple months ago mm -hmm. and he went out with um, my sister who lives in Europe. Uh, they like met up and they went to dinner and my dad ordered pizza and it came with egg and he was like totally disgusted. He was yeah. like not expecting it. Oh, that's a uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And tomato sauce is my favorite part. So. Oh, that would be disappointing mm. then. I mean, I wouldn't want egg on my pizza at all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants egg on their pizza. That's not called pizza. That's called breakfast. <laughs> But you know, I, I would have thought that I would never want to eat potato salad with fish eggs on it. And we had that. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. I would like to try that. Well, it's too, way too much money to eat there, you know. By the time you get yeah. out. But, and that's not even with any alcohol. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have alcohol if you feel like drinking mm -hmm. alcohol. I will have an alcohol. We have Maker's Mark. We got confidence. We can open a bottle of wine for you. You want to try yeah. an old bottle of There's wine? There's a good old old wine. Uh, it's probably uh, probably too like uh, with my headache situation. Oh no. Would well, you like a couple of Tylenols? No, thank you. Um, I may. No, it's just like we also have ibuprofen. They don't really like. I appreciate it. They don't really touch clusters. Uh, but if then, you want beer, there is. I may. Stuff. Yeah, I may get one. Um, let me see. Who's the best electric guitar player of all time? Boy, I mean, I don't normally think of things in those terms. My first word is flow. No, confidence. Oh, confidence and flow. Well, these cards seem appropriate to my mood right now. Mm hmm Aww. Aww. Pain. But illumination. What do you think the sentence is, Rachel? Um, flow without pain to achieve illumination and confidence. Hmm. 
You can make up your own. I would say pain has changed to confidence as states of flow produce illumination. Mm. That's how I feel. Like I used to be in pain for a stretch of time. That's true, you were. But I'm not anymore. That's good. Ruins too accommodating to let me open an old bottle of wine just for him. Well, I wish he would. I think he's honest about his headache there. Yeah, is what he's yeah, saying. yeah. I would definitely take it. Yes, I am accommodating. Yes, I would be all that fee-ish, but I was still. I mean, they're offering. I, I mean, I it. I could give you also a uh, analgesic bomb, which is two aspirins, two ibuprofens, and two Tylenols. Analgesically. An uh, analgesic bomb. B O M B. Yeah. Hmm. And you boof it all. No, you don't need to boof it. <laughs> it's, it's just you get to you can take a lot of analgesics without taking too much of anything that way, right? You take can two. I? Right. Sure. You want that? Yeah. 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 I just wouldn't want to mix. Oh man, I fucking want to mix. Oh oh. Oh, I, I, I used those. to fucking mix yeah. beer and alcohol. I mean, like, uh, Tylenol and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I mean, was bad. I just I hear it's bad for you. I'm not it's sure not it good. is. It's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. Is it propaganda? Uh, no, not propaganda. It's not fucking good for your liver at all. That's fucking terrible. I just did it because I was like wanting a high. Like I wanted to feel fucked up. Right. It's but it's bad for your liver. It's bad. Yeah. For your I think I was always, yeah, avoided it for that. I mean, I never even looked into it, like, how it's bad, but I was always looking for, like, the most sustainable ways of... Okay, King of Gold. Go ahead. King of Gold without Gilbert? King? Don't hurt my feelings, please. You're not a lobster. Okay. <laughs> I was just playing. You are a... It's a tiger. You're not a lombuster. I was just messing with you. I feel bad now. Kimga of gold is Val Kilmer. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Elvis. You're pretty cool. Wait, you're the same Blue Elvis as the other Blue Elvis, who's yeah. not Blue Elvis Draw? Okay. Anal bomb. Take those. Here's the drink you need one. Do you have a drink right there? Yep. Okay. And then I'll give you the Tylenols as well. Uh, I really like psychology stuff. Why do you say that? I just, I, I do like behavioral stuff. Thank you. Try an inky pinky, Ruben R. Basque exaggerate. Inky pinka tea. Inky pinka tea. Basque exaggerate. What is Basque? Is that to like enjoy, like soak it in? I'm typically people bask in the sun. Yeah, that's the only way that I can think of. Right. Or bask in the glory. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure, yeah. I see, Belovis. Okay. <coughs> uh, soak, exaggerate. What's a three syllable word for exaggerate? Hmm. Oh. Well, I can think of one for exaggeration. Um, let's see. All of you know that what One Piece is the anime. Yeah, we I I've watched some of it. I don't like One Piece. I watch a lot of anime, but I don't watch One Piece. Yeah, Blue Elvis, I agree. Uh, I didn't like how I went to college for a couple of years. I basically couldn't ask any questions that challenged the status quo. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. where you're supposed I, to be able to. I thought I was going to like sociology. Turns out. I don't. <laughs> I majored in uh, uh, sociology. Yeah? yeah? And you got through it? Well, yeah, but 
I had like cool teachers. Were you able to question the truths that they were saying? Like actually, she encouraged it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I've uh, watched some Dragon Ball Z. Again, not one of my favorites. I like, I like contemporary stuff. I know One Piece is still ongoing, but you know, I watch most of the, the show or a good portion of the shows that get released each day on Crunchyroll. So you know, like today I watched uh, Solo Leveling. Today I watched. Um, uh, Kingdom, season five. How was it? Kingdom was good. Uh, got a little dark and then it got interesting at the end. Um, basically, our good guys, well, Kyle Kai killed a bunch of she allies. Did? Yeah, well, because they were killing, they were behaving poorly against the general populace inhabiting the area. Okay. You know, raping and so pillaging and stuff. I was because she already got injured, and then... Oh, well, she's gotten better since then. She heals <laughs> fast. Kyle Kai is a quick healer. Damn, I'm oh, so jelly of Kyle Relish and Bellish. Okay. That's a great one, Padawan Range Man. It's a great is. Inky Pinky. It's absolutely what great. Is it? Relish and Bellish. Oh, that is good. I was thinking Wallow. What? You know? He said... Did he say ink or inky? Oh, he said inky, inky pinky. Dude. Damn it. Okay, I misread that. I was thinking for one syllable. That's why I said lay or soak. They're turning the frogs gay. I should have come up with relish. <laughs> now I feel like a dummy. Can you guys talk about the frogs? Which frogs? Yeah, which frogs do you want me to talk about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the gay frogs. I always kind of have a, a raspy voice to show. Um, yeah, they're, they're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Who's, Who's turning the frogs gay? Uh, Alex Jones had this rant about how, I think it was like a, um, uh, some sort of industrial, um, building that produced some sort of chemical that, um, was having problems and they were like dumping out chemical waste into a river behind it. And it was literally making the, the frogs gay. He was actually correct about that. Wow. People, people like to shit on him because he sounds crazy. But some things he says. What was making um, what was making the frogs gay? It was like the something about like estrogens that it was pouring into the water. It was just turning them more androgynous in general, I think. Uh, it was making them more like Japanese people. I actually don't really know. Yeah, right. apparently, apparently Japanese people have trouble mating. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. You're okay. probably fucking frog now. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I've heard that. There's a lot of yeah. Uh, yeah. separation. A lot of aloneness. Yeah, a lot of things are changing. A lot of things are new. Sometimes it feels like a fog. Guess that's why I gotta admit I'd fuck a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he brought out the guitar just for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's the gay agenda. They've got me wanting to fuck frogs now. They've, they've, they're, they it's mission creep, you know? They started out wanting to turn us all gay, and now they've got us all wanting to fuck frogs. They were actually having male to male homo behavior. Okay. Actual real life homo behavior. But problems? like an increase from the baseline homo behavior? Question mark? Yeah, the Feldman song was really good. Mm, thanks. <laughs> You're gay. But are you a frog? Yeah, but are you a frog? Can we make that into a TI question? Mm. If all frogs in estrogen rivers turn gay, and I'm gay, am I a frog in an estrogen river? I'd say no. yes. Not no. necessarily. Oh. No. 
Baseline is basically zero. Well, I mean, really, Carlos Peta? Have you been to frog bathhouses, though? If you just go to, like, nuclear families of frogs having normal heteronormative frog relationships, that's all you're going to find, obviously. You need to go where the gay frogs are. You need to go where the gay frogs are. To the discotheques and the bathhouses. Uh, atrazine. Okay, that's what was in the water. I don't know what that is, but Carlos seems to... To know what I was so why were they putting atrazine in the water? I think it was just a TE useful thing just to dump their waste out the back of the building. Did Alec Jones say that they were trying to make the frogs gay? No, he just said they're turning the frogs gay. Uh, so I think it was just because of the TE, the consequence was frogs were becoming gay. Okay, so what was his advocacy? That people should put less shit in the water? No, that I think that this this um, it's all part of thing some... should be called out, brought attention to. Oh. Because mm. it's just happening. These frogs get hard. It's a good question. They're inherently pretty soft creatures. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think that means they're all impotent. Well, is is hard relative? Um, since they're soft creatures. Right. Maybe wet noodle is rock hard for a frog. Al dente. Yeah. Frog women like it al dente. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's interesting. That So, the thing is, I, I don't know if people necessarily think Alex Jones is always crazy or anything. Some people do, maybe. But the point is, like, there's a failure to, to establish what his point is. Like, what is he, what is he advocating here? Is he saying that this gay frog thing is an environmental problem? Is he saying it's a problem of people not caring about the consequences of their reckless TE action? Is he saying it's part of a larger scope of societal change that's not good? I think the second thing you said, um, like what, what Carlos is saying here, so humans are drinking that water, and that if it's turning the frogs gay, what is it doing to humans? Oh, well, I mean, that's a perfectly reasonable advocacy, obviously. We don't want random chemicals and drug in water that goes into the water table and turns into drinking water and stuff. Um... And sure, if it's turning frogs gay, then I'd worry about what it's doing to people as well. We don't get that water here. We get different water at our house. Mm -hmm. We decided to get the atrazine free water after some discussion. It's a little more expensive, but I'm not going to play it. Eric Michalak, there you are. What is up for me? What is up for you? Everything is up, and we are wonderful. It is a wonderful time seeing you here today. I couldn't be more delighted by your arrival. So I decided I'm going to let you guys get in on some hot squirrel action while we still have some daylight. I wouldn't want you to miss out on the hot squirrel action that I've got going on here at Talking With Famous People. Some people call it the squirreliest YouTube channel on YouTube. Ah. <sighs> It's all nice and wonderful outside right now. Smells good like the forest. It's crisp but not cold. You know, cool but not warm. Just forgot it. 
It's too hard to do that. Let's go over here now. Get a little bit more nature. In our nature buns. How uh, many natures do you have in your nature bun? up over here maybe we never go up here but since I got the new internet I can go all the way up here no problem still have connectivities there's some wilderness for you Pretty fun being in the woods, huh? My baby don't care. My baby don't care. I feel like I might have a poop coming on. That's good. Let's see. Zoom in a little bit, but not too much. You can get more of a feel of the place. That's too much. There. That's nice. A lot of firewoods around here. It's peaceful. It's so nice. I love it here so much. It almost makes me sad. I love it here so much. In some weird way. It smells so good. Oh, what a wonderful day. Well, I tell you, I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Padawan Range Bender. Maybe it was Bob UFO. Somebody really got in my head when they said, 
you need a leaf blower, Eric. <laughs> Which really is a way of saying, Eric, you need to sweep up already. I know I do. I feel it in my heart. At least right here. Screw it, and Screw I've it. been that way. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what is up, chat? Yeah, what is up? I'm back inside now. And uh, I'm going to see what you all have been saying. Yes, that's a concrete wall. Thank you. Thank Adam you. Range Bender. For repeating that multiple times, I appreciate mm -hmm. it. We needed to hear that at least four times. Uh, well, I would not call us rich, Junior Oliveira, yeah, but you know we're comfortable. Yeah. Certainly, uh, we're lucky. You know. Yeah. You think that society is making men gay? Hmm. He's doing such a poor job on me. <laughs> you know? Hashtag blessed. Yeah, blessed is, is a good word for it. <laughs> yeah, it is. We are very fortunate. We're lucky. And, and, you know, it's not, this is not, this is still relatively new to us, too. So. It still overwhelms me sometimes how fortunate mm -hmm. we are. Yeah, this is relatively recent. This is like, you know, a year and two months or so that we've been living here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a year and a half, a little longer since we were dead broke. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, 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 you know, it's the kind of like future shock that you, it's difficult to, to know that you're going to have trouble adjusting to something, but now I feel adjusted to it more or less. I feel Me settled too. in. There, I, I feel more settled in. There are times where I had to kind of like pinch myself and be like, this is your home. Like not just a place where you're living in, it's like yours. Oh, Caroline, that's, that's right, nice. Caroline. <laughs> that's sweet of you to say, thank you. Okay, I got a wee wee. There is no such thing as home. This is definitely home for us. It is home. It's like so much home, I can't even <sighs> imagine going anywhere else. It's so nice, I love it. We go out to town, we go, we go different places and we, I can't wait to be home. It's so comfortable here. Mm -hmm. It's just so comfortable. It's so perfect for us. I mean, it's weird that we ever even say that because it's like, how could two people really need four bedrooms and stuff? Well, one reason is because we do have guests sometimes, we, you know? We have guests a lot of time. Uh, my mom's always surprised that we have so many guests. I like it, though, because I like you know, we like company. We're not antisocial people. And uh, we expect to have Elaine and Chris Chapman come in July. Yeah. And that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully I won't be arguing about her type at that point. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I was just, I told her, I you just, today is not the day. I mean, she wants to be is what she is you know honestly at this point i i yeah. when yeah, she I talks know. to ruben here's my thing when she talks to ruben it's like boom 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 like understood 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 there's no question at, at that point she starts to see herself whereas ruben is constantly confusing me <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
William McLaren, I am doing fine. How are you, William McLaren? I don't know if you're aware of this, but they have a juvenile hall named after you in Los Angeles County. Oh, no. Yeah. That's very sad to hear, show media. I'm it sorry is sad. to hear that. Oh, Mary goodness. Nix says, Tom, you got 30 seconds to try and talk me into not going in on your ass in the comments. You can go in on my ass in the comments all you want. I don't give a fuck. Comment your little heart out. You comment all you want. All right. I strongly encourage you to voice whatever opinions you have in the comments. Or in the chats. I don't care. This is for your old lady. What is for my old lady? Yeah, you go to town on yourself. If you cross any lines, I'll just hide you from the channel. <laughs> it's not that challenging. Baby likes stuff. Okay. enough to say it twice, too. Yeah. I'm glad you like ducks. Okay, fine, Carlos. I don't care. Um, what's for dinner? We're having corned beef tonight, Blue Squares. Yes, we are. I've already had some corned beef. I'm not hungry at the moment, but when I do get hungry again... I think I'm going to try and eat around 6, 6.30. And then I'll have some more corned beef. I'll make you a bowl. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. You corn the shit out of that beef. Uh, I may even if I feel crazy, I may make a starch to go with it, such as rice. <gasps> oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I've been such, on such a rice kick lately. The rice has been delicious, huh? Mhm. Mm I could actually see that, Lou. YouTube is the trial of everyone's faith. Ken Siolak? No, I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Hat for sale? No, I'm not selling this hat. Thank you. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to discount, man. I don't know what happened. It was just speculation. Just because there's a linkage in time doesn't mean there's a causal relationship. So I'm not going to say any such okay. thing, okay? I don't feel like speculating in that fashion. What's a devil? A devil is probably a Satan who likes ducks. So, YouTube is a trial of our faith. Well, I hope not to be a trial of your faith. Um, you know, I'm not attempting to challenge your faith at all. Hmm. You know. If you find that being here tries your faith anyway, well, I'd say your faith in what? What up, be more? <laughs> what up, be more? Hey, bro. Oh, he's trying everybody's faith individually and collectively on YouTube or just everywhere in the world. How does your device not melt S? I don't know what that means. What is a melted, is a melted capital S look like a small S? I feel like he was trying to do that, that, that face that's like queasy, but he forgot to put the eyes on the S. <laughs> well, it's Satan, I don't, I'm not asking you to donate anything. Faith in Jesus is the word of God. He's the faith. Okay. So what should we do then, Ken? <laughs> what? What is the advocacy here? I don't want your donation, but be more. I'm not asking for donations. Did anybody say, please give me donations around here? No. So don't worry about donations. Trust in Joel Osteen. Yeah, I'm not yeah. Joel Osteen. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not an evangelist. I don't ask for your money. Sometimes people super chat me, but not because I ask for it. For just 10 cents a day, you can help me continue <laughs> to do this, okay? For just a dollar a day, 
Here I'm talking with Spanish people. I can continue to do whatever the fuck I feel like all the time. <laughs> and all it's going to cost you is $20 a day. The price keeps going up. <laughs> oh, the price keeps going up, yeah. huh? Is that inflation? Uh, yeah. Yes, I only use PayPal for typing sessions. In part because... <laughs> Sally Struthers had some knocks. Sounds like a good name for a band. <laughs> that does. <laughs> Sally Struthers had some knocks. I prefer knocks rather than knockers. Uh, do I only use PayPal? Yes. In part because I don't really want to do a lot of typing sessions. I don't really like to work that much. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to a channel, obviously. You just subscribe to it if you want to. I would suggest only subscribing to this channel if you want to receive more of this, because that's all you're going to get around here. Usually without Ruben. Yeah. Ruben here, this is a special guest episode. It's a very special episode of Talking with Famous People. With a very special famous person here in attendance. Yeah. Ruben. Thank you. Ruben, when you were a kid, did children make fun of you by calling you Poobin? Never, I never once got that. Uh, I wish they had said that. You would think I would have been made fun of a lot more than I was. Well, I just was thinking if I were a little kid and your name were Ruben, I'd probably call you Poobin. Yeah. Not even trying to tease you, I just think. I just like to rhyme things, you know. Exactly. What's up, Carlos? But since I'm an adult, I've decided not to call you Poobin. You could, though. I, mean, I just referenced it instead thank you, of Charleston. directly calling you that. What about Pubin? No, that's gross. Yeah, well, depends on how luxuriant and silky your pubes are. Mm. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Number of wealth, 28. Pubin. Uh, no, but I mean, I really, I wish people had more names for me. I don't remember being called anything. But Ruben, Rubes, that's it. The thing is, Pubin doesn't really rhyme with Ruben, but Poobin does. Oh, I see. See, because I'm only taking the second syllable. I guess you take the vowel before the second syllable, too, yeah. Well, it's just a matter of which rhymes best. Right. Poobin. Poobin rhymes best with Ruben. But <laughs> it, it lacks the alliterative quality of Pubin. Ruben Cuban? Pubin. Ruben, Ruben the Cuban Pubin Pubin. Would what? be his full name. Vladmit Pubin. <laughs> Vladmit Pubin is a pretty good name. <laughs> 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 Vladmit. Okay. Oh, I like Vladmit better. <laughs> yeah. Roar. Uh-oh, Satan's roaring. We should all watch out. He's got a pitchfork and a bad attitude. Oh, no. Yeah, he didn't like Vladimir Pubin. <laughs> <laughs> it made me want to name a character in a TV show, Vladimir Pubin. Yeah. And have him always annex things. You know, like, what are you doing in my front yard? Oh, I'm annexing, I'm annexing your front yard. This part of your front yard is mine now. Don't worry, your front yard was ethnically mine to begin with. Show media, are you on a PC? Admit a few biscuits, the new Starbucks barista. <laughs> you don't want somebody named Pubista. <laughs> Dealing with your drinks or food. Can you? Yeah, I could tell you were on PC because when you said Vladimir Pubin, the first two letters of each word were caps, so it seemed like you held shift a little too long <coughs> on both. <coughs> my toe next to my big toe is bigger than my big toe. <laughs> well, that's true for me too in terms of length, yeah. but not in terms of raw size. Maybe this thing needs to be charged, Rachel. Oh, maybe. Or okay. show. Did you maybe press caps lock for both of them and then uncaps it? 
I, I must know. He says he has no idea. Oh, okay, no idea. But maybe if I say the exact correct thing, it'll... All right, fine. Mexican with a rubber toe. Roberto. What is this, um... Remember, I, I came up with a thingy, and you named it Unky Punky last week, I think. It's like, uh... Not like Inky Pinkies, but... Maybe in reverse or something. Do you remember this? Be like, Ruben made up a new variation on Inky Pinky. And we're calling it Unky Punkies. I don't remember. Damn it. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I did. <laughs> Sounds interesting, but my SI is not what it used to be, I guess. The old gray mare. Your SI is great. I yeah, exactly. so much. Like, That's some good SI. Yeah, it is. I, uh, you do not have that. Yeah. <laughs> so you still going to go to the hardware store today? Seems a little late at this yeah, point. Yeah. I was thinking about maybe uh, ordering some stuff from Amazon, though. That's the way to do it. I mean, certain things being different, I'm not sure. We need to get drapes. Mm -hmm. What color drapes do you think we should get? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if people want like blackout ish curtains, is like that's possible, what I was right? Thinking. Yeah, blackout, black definitely nice. blackout cur curtains. Um, the furniture in the one room is dark, there's a lot of blue. Um, shit, I mean, uh, Whatever it is, just maybe, be unified. Maybe blue? These are the sort of things we have to decide, right? What kind of tiles do we want to get for over there? And what color are we going to paint the bathroom? You were thinking about Robin's egg blue, right? Well, that's like what the rest of the house is, basically. Yeah, that's right. We could do some kind of pale yellow in theory. Yeah. Um, but is that good for a bathroom? It kind of elicits the thought of well, pee. Well, like date yeah. it. Mm. Kind of elicits pee pee. Mm -hmm. um, we could do a very, the robin's egg blue equivalent of green. I was thinking green. Something pale, super pale. Pale green. Pale green. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Ruben, you got any thoughts on these things? Mm-mm, no. No? Okay. I mean, I do like the, I mean, you're talking like bold colors, not the wallpaper. You're you know? gonna get rid of the wallpaper. Yeah. I'm not talking bold colors. I'm talking kind of very mild colors. I mean, I said bold, but I meant like, um, like, if you have a good color scheme, it's not gonna go out of style, really. Uh, this wallpaper shit is horrible. Yeah. But no, I, I don't really. I mean, I like, and I don't really have an opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I think a like a sage green or mint, not mint, but like a sage green, like light sage green. Mm. Uh, for the bathroom. Sure, we could do that. Um. So then we would get the same color towels. Or within the scheme. Now there's there's cool tools I use on the internet like color scheme generators. So if you know like one or two colors you like, it'll generate like multiple palettes that work together. Yeah. Well, most of it's robin's egg blue, right? Over there. Yeah, the, mm -hmm, the paint. Most of the rooms are that or, color yeah, paint. That, uh huh. They are. I think so. I need to retain that. Um. So uh, Mario Kart won surprisingly. Yeah. By a little bit. Yeah. Minecraft has no goal in mind. I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, I need like some sort of goal. Although Mario Kart kind of irritates me in that it's fine, whatever, but it's very, I don't know what I call it. Uh, the last place person gets all these booms. So it's called rubber banding. Try this. Thank the, you. The first place person can get hit by blue shells. So it's like this. Um, Oh, that's true, that's true. 
like Try hitting it a little slower. Rachel. Okay. Excuse me? Try hitting it a little slower. Yeah, you said that, show media. Try Ooh. hitting it like, I got a good hit out of it. Try, <laughs> try that, yeah, go up until it really starts going. Like, just go puff it in your mouth, blow it out, puff in your mouth, and blow it out until it really starts going. Because mm. it does work, but you got to work it some. Okay, but but show, do you have another game that you would put in there that you would go over those two that maybe isn't annoying? Uh-oh, Satan's speaking in devil tongue. I'm going to, can we look at that um color oh, generator right. thing? Sure. Is that too boring? Is no, that, no, that's that fine. Boring? Color, color generator? I'm down. Let's look at it. Classic adventure NES games. Okay. You know, in theory, I could run over there with your phone, Rachel, and take pictures of the existing colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I could leave you guys here. Sure, whatever you want to do. If you feel like giving. Uh, or I can also. Okay, you could do that too. Yeah. I was going to say if you give Acacia a heads up, but. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe if you were to do it, then you wouldn't have to give her a heads up. Exactly. Yeah, that's go, a good idea. If she's napping, I can go fart in her general direction and run away and giggle. Is it is it, <laughs> is it one of these in particular? Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Go up. So I used there. One of these is good. One isn't. Coolers or Canva's a new one I never used. Uh, or Color Mind. It's one of those two that I found the. Yeah, this one's good. Oh, cool. So you can uh, just generate them or like insert the code for one and you see there's like a little lock symbol here uh -huh. you can lock it in and then hit generate and it'll randomize the other four yeah i like that green that's the green that i was thinking of okay well, i think this is i was thinking that's the blue of the uh, oh the oh but the maybe house. not maybe the, yeah i think it's more that or well see that's why we need picture blue. of it okay right? i'll be right back all right okay. cool all right Ruin's going to take pictures of the existing colors so we know. It's just if it's not properly lit, it's not going to get the color right. That's so true. I'll try to light it uh, up. I think Acacia has a flashlight I can use. Here, try this as a good one. Okay. Cool. It's powerful, like, strong man. Got it. BRB. Okay. Okay, Ruin's going to BRB with the information we need. And... I don't know, who timed you out? What did you get timed out for? I don't know, something. You get timed out, you get timed out. While we are waiting for Ruben to come back with pictures. <laughs> Caroline, the only thing I've stuck with for a decent amount of time is Animal Crossing. It's so funny, it's really cute. Oh, that's cool, it's fun. Okay. Well, we're waiting for Ruben. I feel like playing this cover of something that's sometimes known as one of the saddest songs ever. I think you all might recognize it. It's by a little band. Call it the Beatles. Mm. Now, Rachel, can you mm. do me a favor? The mouse is right there. Can you, when I get to the end of where it is, can you scroll me down? Yes. Day breaks, your mind aches, you find that all the words of kindness linger on when she no longer needs you. 
She wakes up, she makes up, she takes her time and doesn't feel she has to hurry, she no longer needs you, and in her eyes you see nothing, no sign of love behind the tears, cry to no one, a love that should have lasted years. You want her, you need her, and yet you don't believe her when she says her love is dead, you think she needs you. And in her eyes you see nothing, no sign of love behind the tears, cried for no one, a love that should have lasted years. You stay home, she goes out She says that long ago she knew someone But now he's gone, she doesn't need him Your day breaks, your mind aches There will be times when all the things she said Will fill your head, you won't forget her And in her eyes you see nothing No sign of love behind the tears Cry for no one, a love that should have lasted years. You sounded so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, darling. Now I think I'll play another song. Um, I think I'll play this song. Not that one. <laughs> El Nino, my ass. You call those storms? Where is the rain? Those drizzles don't count, I drizzle more When I pee in the sink Which is just the right height to catch All of the undesired splatter And when I'm done, I'll go outside And climb a ladder I will go up there and take me a bucket and pour water inside And I'll say, hey, Mr. Cloud, drop it from the bottom Hey, Mr. Cloud, won't you drop it from the bottom Hey, Mr. Cloud, drop it from the bottom on me Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Our wonderful, our wonderful now I'll play a Merle Haggard song. Well, you might call me a rambling man because I do a lot of thumbing and a kicking games, but it won't do an answer good to call me names. My daddy wasn't well at Woodrow. I wasn't born and raised in no ghetto. Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. I'm gonna find me a wealthy woman in a line of work that don't take no diploma cause I ain't got much to lose and lots to gain. You might call me a good time fella, but I ain't no black and I ain't no yellow. Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. I don't want no handout living, don't want any part of anything they give it. I'm proud and wild and got a song to sing. Well, I said a few things and I'll admit it. If you wanna get ahead, you got a home thing, get it. Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. Small sound boy been around a little and I like guitar and I like the fiddle cause it's kind of soul to expand my playing. Blue eyed Billy, feared and ready, I got to work just to be somebody, just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. I don't want no hand out living, don't want any part of anything they give, giving. I'm proud and mad and got a song to sing. Well, I said a few things and I admit it, if you want to get ahead, you got a home bank, get it, just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. Well, I said a few things and I'll admit it. If you want to get ahead, you got a hump and get it. Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. 
Well, I said a few things and I didn't it. If you want to get a edge, you got to hump and get it. Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. As you may recall, we are waiting for Ruben to get back with some color swatches so that we can do a little bit of color scheme planning, okay? Which is not unlike Gerald in this song, who is doing some planning of his own. Gerald has a thought. Gerald has a lot. Gerald has a plot to get to Marjorie's tater tots. He's got a good idea for a name changing business. Thinking now about what to call Christmas when they hire his firm to change that name. Gerald always got Debbie Chance enough to return to the work left rough. He'd get back to it eventually, but his visions piled up, and his plans would interrupt all the work that started off so hopefully. Now his mind is back on his business, thinking of changing back list to list list, so how old people will shout his name? And Gerald knows he understands ever more clearly now. He won't provide explanation regarding the why or the how. He'll see you and know you from inside your heart. Exciting, delighting, Gerald plays his part. But Gerald still knew there's too much to do. And he dropped time in the underview. There's just to read, but so where now and what? But too much time spent me picking the skill. Oh, with you. Now Gerald has a thought. Gerald has a lot. Gerald has a plot to get the margarine's tasty spots. He's got a good idea for a name-changing business, thinking now about what to call Christmas when they hire his firm to change that name. Fame, oh, Gerald has a thought. Thanks, thanks. Well, well, I got a little time. Can you put it on? Oh, never mind. It's not even up. I'll get this. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get this thing over here. Playing a few songs here. Waiting for Ruben to get back. So. Let's go with this one right here, right at the top of the list. It's one I don't necessarily play all that often. I like it a lot though. Okay. There. It fits well enough. Santa Anna's from the east are blowing, driving on this mountain fire. So Grant and Lana had best be going, they had cut it down to the wire. Everywhere apocalypse hung heavy, as the truck was piling with ash. Lana got the dogs in the Chevy, and Grant counted out their petty cash. If times are ending, then time is bending. Flames rain down from the sky oh, While the dogs knock out with Grant exhausted Lana stays awake 
to cry. 120 output Labor Day, and that means cooking meat outdoors. Guy got distracted and fire got away. Now from Bradford to Arcadia, they curse his name. The fire chased them down across the incline until they reached the foothills below. Found a brain chief for the night online. At least now they had somewhere to go. Tomorrow they'd evaluate their options now that their life had burned away. Well, and a sister has a place in Laughlin. Wasn't really any more to say. If times are ending, then time is bending. Flames rain down from the sky. And while the dogs knock out with Grant exhausted, Lana stays awake to cry. While the dogs knock out with Grant exhausted, Lana stays awake to cry. That's kind of a hard song. I didn't play it super well, but thank you, Rachel. I appreciate it. All right, we'll play a different song. It's also kind of a hard song, but I hope to play it better because I have it memorized. It's called Destruction of the Whole Damn World. Heartache and misery fall unnecessarily from their savage ways. Insulting, cursing, and desiree. We're stuck with such petty larceny. We all purchase in the victories and call destruction of the whole damn world. Beauty shares now her limits. Open Julie will too. Jerry shares for four minutes. He just can't share things like they do. And Judy always thought that she should have got to when she had the chance to buy. She soon forgot about should and dot, although she ever called, she'll die. People everywhere gather up enemies, outrage that how they miss a sign. How do they set their priorities? These foreign backstabbing entities in suing heartache and misery follow necessarily from their savage ways. Insulting, cursing, and desiree, we're stuck with such petty larceny. We all purchase in the victories and call it destruction of the whole damn world. Come home. Okay, that was fine. Well, anyway, still waiting for Ruben to get back, so I'm just going to keep playing songs. Maybe it's not exactly what people want in life, but that's what I'm giving them today. Because after all, when I was younger, it seemed that everything gleamed. I don't know what happened to me, but I've lost that sense of urgency, and I don't think that I'll ever see it again. If you follow my lead, you'll discover I'm lost than you. 
And you'll want to know the way to get back at you Wherever it was you thought you knew And tomorrow will be just like today I'll be lost in you It's a matter of me as much as a matter of will And the things I do And the direction I point to Still seem a part of me But partedly And I wonder If I'll ever see them again Thank you, darling. You're a wonderful lady and a hero of democracy. Ruben, did you know that Rachel was a hero of democracy? I mean, I didn't know officially, but I could tell intuitively. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ruben's back. And together with Rachel, they plan to save democracy. So what do I do with these pictures? Do I send them? No, I think we can, well, you can send them, sure. Yeah, put it, send them to me. Yeah. You have Google Photos? I don't think so. I mean, I have a Gmail account. Uh, well, yeah, send me the photos. I'll pull them up on the screen, and then we'll look at the Nyaz, and we'll see how similar they are. And maybe we can make some decisiones. Yeah. I feel like I have a tough time with this kind of thing. It's not really that easy. Mm hmm And the, um, I mean, it being dark in there really changes things. So, I use the flashlight, but still. I mean, Kelly, why do they want you to leave? Who wants you to leave? You're fine, Kelly. People are being weird, it seems like. What? Are you trying to find your husband in the live? Uh -oh. I see. Is that the way the new the new way to find your husband? Well, I can airdrop them to you. Or do you want me to like email? Sorry. I mean, yeah. If you email them to me, then I can look at them on the screen easily. You're an Apple person. Why are people saying she's an awful horrible person? Yeah. Who? Who exactly is like? What exactly is going on with this? I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure what's happening like here. Drama okay. that like they're in on, but we don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't feel like I know what's going on at all. She's trying to get a man. Well, that's not inherently bad, no. is it? Let her get a man. Yeah, let her get a man. There are various men around, I'm sure. Did she mean it like she's looking for her husband, as in like she's trolling the the? streams to find her husband like he's gone missing or no 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 i don't oh. think she was like that it wasn't like monroe mm. they're ganging up on her she's new here i don't know what happened she was trolling simps okay well i don't know what happened but uh she if, was gone. if in fact she was authentically just trying to be pleasant and got Chased away by you scoundrels, then shame on you. Okay. If on I the other mean, hand, really, I mean, if on the other hand she was just being a normal person, I mean, if she was actually being bad, then that's a different matter. But I don't think she was being bad at all. So, like just... well, don't unicorn ninja. Why would you want to give someone a hard time? Why not? Why not let them have an easy time? Why are you making things difficult for them on purpose? Is it because you're a jerk? 
Is that what you want to be in life? A jerk? Jerk's not good. Okay? Jerk's bad. You can ask anybody here in Ruben would agree that jerk is not a positive term. Yes, even Ruben. That's right. Even the jerk of all jerks. Blue, like blue, yeah. see? Yeah, it is a little. That, I don't think you can see anything here. Just like basically all the walls. That one we know we're going to change. This we're going to change. I think Casey's taking out the lamp head there. <laughs> all the walls are like blue, right? And they're, yeah. they're all the same color, right? Yeah. They're all this. I guess it is ro Robin's egg. I was thinking about cobalt before, but yeah, it's, it's lighter. And then you have those washing machine and drying machine, which are similar. That's hard to tell. All right, well, let's look at here. I mean, how do you make it start all over again? Just random things. Yeah. Now, this won't work exactly. There are plugins you can like pull the hex code from any image. That's what I use. Oh. Does that look like that middle? This looks much more grayish blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like that was oh, like kind of like that. It is yeah. kind of like this one. Except I'm not sure if that's really quite blue enough. If you look down here at the bottom, you're getting more of a bluish color, right? Right. Yeah. Down here, see? Yeah. I think it is a little bit uh, washed out because of the white there. I think we should try to use this bit of the color right there. Oops. Okay. Where was it? This bit right here. So. Um. Color sample. I mean, I could do this in GIMP. Hold on. I feel like this is the most accurate representation, like right around here. You think so? I Well, for sure not here. It's too blown I'm out. I'm thinking here. Yeah, that's good too. See this little spot where it's more colored? Yeah. Colory? Mm-hmm. All right, let me yeah, I'll open it again, but I'll figure out what it's me out is. Yeah, we hate for this to be off, and then you all build the uh, color scheme around it. And, uh, I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad. No. Well, we're going to need to have some kind of representation of it, right? I, mean, I guess if you get a paint chip, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at least we could have some idea of what we're, we're looking at. Save as capture. Okay. Yeah, paint chip. You take that to the, the store and they'll match it. Mm hmm. Take top. Alone. Capture. Open with GIMP. Okay, now we're cooking with Crisco. Which is what we wanted to do all along, right? Would you guys like to see what I'm looking at on the television screen? You can now. Thanks to the magic of phone switching. It kind of looks like Uranus. It does have a very uranus quality to it. Mm -hmm. So there it is, everybody. There's what we're looking at. Just change the color here. I'm saying it's this part right here, right in there. So, but meat down as per meat. Now, let's get this sampling tool. This color is this one, in terms of HTML. Now let's go here. Can we put in one of these here? 
How do you? Image upload. Oh, image upload. That might work too, yeah. I want to just put in website yeah. colors. So. Right. Uh, did you get it? Did you grab them? I got them. Yeah. I got what it is, yeah, but I don't know how to insert the website. So, in colors. the middle color there, I mean, is this going to be the core color that everything is based around? Because it does matter what position they're in. Oh, I see. Um, you just paste. Or the them. middle one, you said. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And then lock it. Wow. That's kind of that is not what that's I thought. That's not it, right? Um, All right, let's try a different color then. All right, let's try downloading this one. Open in the meow. Open with GIMP. All right, let's see here. All right, so let's get this thing when they like here. It almost looks white. Ah, oh, gosh. Yeah, try it. I sent you another photo. I don't think it's going to be much better, though. Hmm. It is a blue. Just a little bit white. Yeah. yeah. Wow, how different that is. It's so different. And it's almost off white. Like it's not getting the Exactly, that's closer. The Robin's eggness. I think it's like that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. You think it's a little more bluish? That's more like it. Like that? Yeah. Gosh, yeah, it's closer. Yeah, I think it's less of like um. Okay, well, where do you think I should move it from here? <laughs> no, not that direction. There, I guess. I, I I don't feel like I have a good gauge for it. Robin's egg blue. I'm looking for that. And Robin's egg is a little bit more bluish. That's just what I called it anyway. There's no reason blue is what it's actually called. Yeah. Like it, that? It looks... Well, what do you think, Rachel? I don't know. Maybe Let's I'm see a, the picture. It's not even close to that. Right. It is more white. Look, so the, when I search Robin Egg's blue, Robin's Egg, that one in the middle maybe? Yeah, that one. It's kind of like it. Right. Let's see. It is closer to it. Let's see what color code this is. Oh, it says Robin's Egg. See, people have different definitions of Robin's Egg. I know, yeah. Eric, you're just guesstimating, but it's a good, good uh, guess. So this one looks a little more informative as a picture, maybe. Mm -hmm. So let's look here. It's this. So we're looking at this picture here. It's looking probably a little more white than it actually does, right? Mm-hmm. And is there a touch more green in it than, we're, than we have currently? I don't know. Well, if you try to go up in this region here. Mm. It almost gives me a little bit more cobaltish vibes. Like, see, that's from the side. That's that same wall where you got the so white. It's so weird. It's, it's weird. completely different The color. light alters it so much. But look, when it's dark, it's almost got like this 
Yeah, it's like a. Is that cobalt? It, I don't know. It's like. It's not cobalt, but blue? like slate blue. Is that green it's in blue. it? Blue. Yeah. It is sort of green too. It's a totally different color than when this. the lights on it. I mean, it's got it's more gray. It's absolutely more gray and blue. And less green. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. What's going on here? All right. Well, let's see. So, certainly it looks a lot more white in this picture. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. but yeah, because if you look at this picture, this is the same location from a different angle. It's like so blue. It looks a lot more blue. Huh? Yeah, it does. I feel like it's not convenient, but maybe the best solution is to get a paint chip. Well, I think that color there looks pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you Still said, white it, well, we see that, but look at the one that Ruben was showing us. Yeah. It's very. No, it's so weird. That is so. It's a completely different color. I think this is mostly like it. I agree. I thought that dark wood looked good with it. What do you think about these, these colors? I like colors these colors. Here? I like the the taupe and the gray. Taupe and gray. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we may have to get that color swatched out. So we learned some things about what we're capable of dealing with here, remote, like from this yeah, capacity. Yeah, like I'm thinking either the gray or the taupe color for the curtains for the drapes. Bye, Lou. Have a good time. Bye, Lou. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. Should you Bye, make Lou. popcorn? Yes. Yeah, you should pop some corn. If you've got any unpopped corn, what are you doing? I think the U.S. should have been much more supportive of Ukraine from the very outset. Oh, good, Caroline. I'm glad you're sticking around for now. So yeah, I'm thinking um, taupe or gray, that color gray though, drapes. I think those look nice. And uh, the blackout ones, obviously. Okay, so what do we feel comfortable ordering right now? I feel like this he this SE hesitancy, right? Like I don't oh, do know. Do you see? I'm like I am like ready to well, start. I mean, I feel like if we're off by a little bit here, and by the time you get all the colors established, I mean. Okay, so you think we should wait? Well, I don't want to. I want you to all be able to move forward right now. I want it to be simpler than I think it's gonna be, but. The thing that Eric said about the paint chip probably makes the most sense. It's just a paint All right, in then, the bee hole. But, but what kind of things can we order from Amazon that yeah, aren't going to be? List? Okay, go to open a new tab. Click on Docs. There's Occasions okay. List, and then there's Untitled Document. Yeah. I think we can get trash cans. Mm -hmm. Other mitts, spatula. spatula, knife set. I think we're gonna knock off a bunch of these things. All right, so why have. don't we just go ahead and go on Amazon and okay. start doing it? You know, if you okay. feel like you can do that without, yeah, 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 then that's fantastic. Because as I feel se paralyzed about that oh, stuff. This is fine. That stuff will be fine. I'll, uh, you know, if I have a question about it, I'll ask you. All right, so trash cans. You want to do the square ones that we like the rectangle ish ones we have in the rooms upstairs and in the uh, primary bathroom? 
Um, I mean, we want to have a kitchen, a kitchen size trash can for the kitchen. We probably want to get it its own discreet. Well, we can get, forget the, I mean, we'll get like the 32 gallon trash can probably. I don't know, how, do they deliver 32 gallon trash can? Oh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, these have prime, yeah, free delivery. Is that 32 gallons? No, no, I'm talking about, we're oh. doing kitchen first, right? This is a kitchen one. I yeah, think. yeah, so we need, so we need different sizes, right? We need the regular kitchen size trash can, we need one of those, and then we need one of the smaller ones, like I got for here, for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then we'll need one 32 gallon trash can for the outside. Okay. For outdoors? Where do you put it, on the porch? I mean, I don't know where else to put it. Yeah. Or you put it underneath the house and say trash cans underneath the house. Yeah. Make it look a little picture, more picturesque. But I figure people are, I don't, if they're going to have bags of, more than one bag of trash, right? Then I want them to put it in a trash can. Right. So there's a pull out. So you think that the size is good for the kitchen? It pulls out, remember? It does? Yeah. The one at the place? Yeah, it does. Is that functional? What Acacia did is she just pulled out the the basket that's that, that you that you pull out, and we've just been using it out there. But if it works, that'd be great. It's nice. It's like in the drawer there. Yeah, I think it does. So you're gonna have to make. Out. Hopefully, Acacia didn't break it. No, I don't think so. I, but she may have pulled it out because it didn't work. I mean, it I seemed to work fine when I was messing with it before, but. Um, you're supposed to put a trash can in there. Yeah, yeah so I'm thinking this, let's see. So uh, we, we need to know what size 10, trash can goes in there. Five, yeah. You want me to go All right, so we can wait to do this stuff then. Okay, let's get some other stuff. We got spatula. Okay. spatula. There's some things you can get that we don't need to, like more information, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, spatula is definitely one of them. Now, one thing I've stayed in Airbnb that was really nice is they just had a magnetic strip. Like, <clears throat> the fridge is right next to the sink. So they just had a magnetic strip. We had a spatula, one big knife, one, um, what else is there? Oh, a spoon, like for pots and pans. And then once you're done with them, you just hang them right there. They just pop on real quick. Oh, that's nice. Is there a dishwasher in there? No, no, there's not. Unfortunately. It is. Yeah, it is. Is there a room to get one installed? Maybe, like right next to the um, washer and dryer, they're on top of each other. Right, we could get it there. Except yeah. the, the door to the fridge opens in that direction. Oh. I think that's why they don't have the washer and dryer in that little open space. It's kind of impractical. Right. Yeah, dishwasher, that's unfortunate. But again, if you don't have a lot of dishes, just like the basics, a pot, a pan, Probably shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, what I'm thinking about is in terms of I'm I'm likely to end up having to clean dishes, right? The people leave behind. The, ideally, they're going to clean up their the dishes after themselves. Yeah. But, um, even then, I'm going to have to check to make sure they clean them well enough, or we're going to get complaints or something, right? Hundred percent. So, for my own ease of of life, I'd rather have a dishwasher than not. Right. <clears throat> From what I can tell, they usually charge like a forty dollar cleaning fee. Yeah. You right. can do that. So if people leave a mess. The thing is, they charge it no matter what. So on one hand, I feel like we should just leave a mess because what are we paying for? On the other hand, I feel bad for leaving a mess. So clean up. So the price isn't really a price. It's plus forty dollars cleaning fee. Is it still more more affordable than other options though? A hundred percent. It really is. Even with the added cost. Well, you know, we plan to consult you when it comes time to uh, do the listing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to was one place we stayed at that just had one kind of awesome, I guess it was like a camping, it's almost like a walk with a lid. It did everything. 
I don't know if that's. What is the name of that? Well. I'll look for it here. If I can find something good, I'll tell you. If not, a pot and a pan should do. Yeah. Right. I'm trying to. Pot and pan. So I'll look just for a pot. I mean, that's not a terrible thing to get in the set of four or five of them, is it? I. No. No, I. That's. This is the most reasonable one that I've found. I just don't know if the size is right. Like it, it says mini stack master. So mm. is there like a regular Okay, yeah, it's stack? probably too small then. Yeah. I'll just tell you the inches on one of these photos should have the dimensions. Yeah, it's it's really mini. Harder than think, huh? Yeah. It's kind of a pain in the butt. See, everything yeah, like, is a decent size except for the pan. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is too small. Yeah. I got a wok. Wok you can use more as a pan or as. What is it? Exactly. So, this is pretty expensive, but you check it out to see what, what I'm talking about. It's called uh, induction wok. C-T-I-O-N. C-T-I-O-N. And then walk. Walk? W-O-K, yeah. And it's cool. It's like got a, um, yeah, with lid. Pan with lid, do you think? Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. So what, oh no. <sighs> Keep going. There was one that we, we used that was, um, I can type through here, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so it's closer to that, but scroll up to the top. I'll, I'll type in what I'm seeing here. This thing was super cool. Okay, sorry. Um, like something like this. See, this thing is 200 oh. bucks. Though. But it was so nice to just to be able to have that. I was able to cook everything, everything? in there. Yeah. Okay, so nice. maybe it is worth it because some of those, what is it, one, two hundred dollars? Yeah. No, two hundred dollars. No, we don't need another cooking surface. We have an oven okay. and a stove. That's so true. So that is true. Yeah. So what we need it. is a wok that goes on top of the stove. Oh, I see. That's true. A regular wok. Yeah, they didn't have a stove there. That's why it was so useful. It's like a camping thing. Uh, okay, so. Uh, this. I mean, it's nice to have one of those. Two like quart. Plus a good wok, okay, and a decent wok. Okay. You put in wok at the top. You like the look of it. Wok. Okay, so like around the fifty buck. Keep mm -hmm. scrolling. You see that this one? I mean, it's probably not great because of the price, but like this has all the cookware also. Yeah, that is nice. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that silver one. This one? Oh, it looks nice. I don't know. 14 <laughs> inch carbon steel wok with. 14 inch. Is there one bigger than that, or what's the general size on that? This other one's 12.8, this one's 13.5. So 14 seems to be the largest. You know, when you searched walk, it did have a different range of sizes. I didn't, I didn't record that in my mind. Hmm. What's that? Oh, oh, oh yeah, fourteen, yeah, fourteen and above was the big ones, the big ones. Seems to be that 14 inch one. Mm hmm. Well, that is good price. It is. And it has good ratings so far. Right. Mm. So, what makes it a walk? Just the general shape. Oh. Did Abby get 
a walk. Like that one for like 59 bucks, there's probably going to get. Yeah, the so cast iron. Don't, don't get the cheapest walk, you know? This one? Yeah. Read the reviews on it. Yeah. It's got good reviews for 11,000. Like a lot of times, if you check the three star reviews, you could probably get a decent view. Because the one star reviews, those people tend to be complainers in general. Round bottom sucks. Psh. You think that's bad? It might be. It's hard to tell. Awkward views. Very nice for the price. Yeah, I mean, because you would think that a walk kind of has like a flat bottom and then yeah. it's rounded after that. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe no. Uh, rust immediately. That's good, loved it, awesome walk. Round bottom sucks. Yeah, that's like a little concerning. There was that cast iron one, although it might be a bit heavy. It looks nice, but yeah. it does look nice. It is one that looks like that. Look, yeah. what about this what one? Google best blocks to buy. Yeah, somebody's made an article on it. Four stars, not terrible. This one seems to be the one. Right, so many reviews. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so if you click on that. Oh, they have other things too, so oh, you I can see. match with it. That's good. I can get a pot. Can I get a pot? They have nice stuff. It's a decent price. Uh, so we definitely want a walk. 14 inch. How much is that? Like Check it out. 50 bucks for all that. That's, oh, not, bad. that's not bad. Yeah. But you can check out the reviews on that. I think the reviews are probably all pulled together. Yeah. But it will say what they purchased. Looking at the color inside the bathroom on the wall there, I feel like that's the same Similar. color. Yeah. I know, that's what we were thinking too. Are we still not signing on a walk? Yeah, no. I think I found one. Um, where do I go to more reviews? Let's see more reviews. Most recent. And the reviews are flimsy. I mean, we're talking sturdy, right? Yeah. There's only one review on it. Um.
Thanks. Mm -hmm. This one that we were looking at. How much is it? 39, I think. Yeah. All right, well, I'll just get it then, and hopefully it's good enough. Okay. What else do you have in there? Uh, spatula. Okay. You want to get a knife set now? Yeah. Okay. You could probably even search B&B &B knife set and find really? like stuff people B &B? frequently buy. Maybe. B. And B. Yeah. Oops. Oh, B and B? Yeah, I think so, probably. No, here. Um. No, not B and B. Or Airbnb. Just nice set? Just put nice set, it's fine. Okay. With block, I think. Mm. We're only the With block. block. Yeah, 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 exactly. So. That's not so bad. Mm hmm. Especially, like, for a while. You know what? Is that it? Yeah, we could go with any of those. This? Okay. We, we go, uh, why don't you look at the reviews on in the cook versus the cuisine yard. Okay. Like what? What looks better? This one looks probably better. I, guess, I think cuisine. it looks better. There are different. I say you start regular, right? This one, right? Yeah, yeah something with a dark wood like that that matches nice with the blue. Acacia stainless is the color. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. Acacia steam. Acacia wood. Acacia wood, yeah. So look at the reviews. Uh, can you sort it by what they want? You can. So if you go see more reviews, then I always do the most recent because I don't want the top reviews. And then all four minutes, so only the Acacia mm -hmm. steamless. Good review so far. I'm happy to see this. It's, I, I say we get it. Yeah, that's good. Probably okay. a decent choice. Okay. Good, we're making progress. So if you have a wok, does that mean you're not going to get one pot in one pan? Well, I think we should still get a pot in the pan. Yeah. I think the pot I think we were, I was going to suggest originally we get is one of those pasta, pasta pots. I, I was just, yeah, yeah. That can yeah, be it's, used yeah. as a general pot for anything, plus it has that pasta thing in it, plus we use it as a steamer. What is it, a pasta pot with a um, strainer? Yeah. What is it called? Is that Did you get the knives already? Yes. Yes, knives I got. Alright, so yeah, if I put deep pasta pot with strainer. Deep pasta pot with strainer. Fancy the first one. That one right there. See that red thing? That's the kind of talking about. This? Mm. Should I click on it? But I don't like that red part. I don't either. Let's see if it has different colors. No. That one seems unnecessarily expensive for this kind of pot. This kind of pot is kind of cheap. Like, uh,. Yeah, you know, there's mm -hmm. too much complications. Mm -hmm. Just like that mm -hmm. one right there. The third one, or 
Yeah, no, this segment right there. Five quarts? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. I think, yeah, it's 4.4, that's fine. Just add that one to the card, then we move on to the next thing. Pan. Pan. Uh, do we want non stick pan? Yeah. Non frying pan? Yeah. This one or this one? Go down a little more. That's a good deal. Um, so it's going to go away. Go down a little more. Where well, about that blue diamond frying pan mm -hmm. up there? Ten inches. Is that too small? Uh yeah, we want this size frying pan. Let's figure out how many inches this is. It's like uh, 12. 12.5. 12.5. 12.4. This is 11 and a half inches. Let's go with 12. It probably comes in 11 and a half. Okay, so. 11.5. 11 and a half inches in diameter. Okay. It, okay. Um, non stick frying pan skill, 11.5 inch titanium frying pan, non stick, ceramic non stick. Fifty nine dollars, uh, four and a half stars. Doesn't have a lid. No lid? No lid. I don't think. What was the one next to it with lid? It's fourteen inches. Oh, uh, one's even bigger. That's fine. We're not worried about it being too. Big, I'm worried about being too small. Are you okay with that color? Are you okay with that color? Yeah, I'm fine with that color. We, uh, we, yeah, I'm fine. We don't need our pots and pans and stuff to match, do we? I think so. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Shower caddy. Oh, we're looking at chat show media. A shower caddy carries your golf clubs in the shower. Alright. Now, what's the best? Like, something like. I mean, we want something like this one over on the edge. But I mean, remember, first of all, we want something that's going to be easy to clean and deal with. Then this one is good. It's $17.99. That's good. Yeah, we can just yeah. put a little bit of, I don't know. Is there a place to hang? Well, we're going to redo the spigot in there to uh, change that to be a uh, pull away from the thing spigot. So then we can hang it on the stick that the pull away thing goes on. What's a spigot? Not a spigot, you know. You think it shoots out water. Oh, that's top. a spigot? If it, okay. well, I don't know what it's called. It's a shower head. Shower head, yeah. Yeah, yeah shower head. Um, spigot. Well, I couldn't think of what it's called. I don't know what it is still. I mean, that's a it's thing. It's a shower head. The thing is, we're changing the shower head. Okay. And after we change the shower head to one that you pull away so you, so the tall people can take a shower in there. 
Um, True. Then we're going to we have a thing, a stick that that comes off of that we could hang it from. Okay, good call. Yeah, that, that um, shower head is like up to my head. Yeah, I looked up at it and I was like, no. So, do you, Ruben, do you think that, I was, it looks like, oh it's, yeah, it doesn't have a hang. one, one thing hang. to hang, that's fine, but it's like, I, I you think more? you might regret not having like two or three. I don't know. I mean, seventeen bucks feels good though. It's eighteen bucks. Maybe t maybe it has t this one has two. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Two what? Uh, little places to hang things. There's a yeah. towel hanging on the bottom right, and there's a loofah on the bottom left. I I wanted to put my loofah somewhere. Okay, we'll get that one then. Okay, that's good. The thing is, if it's cheap and mostly useful, it's not going to be a waste either way because it's just a stopgap until later that you make, start making money from it. I mean, I, we're only going to, you know, I'd like to not um, have to change a lot of things out. That's why I want to get some decent stuff at least to begin with and so not super expensive but not super cheap either. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> This is one of those things that's like a bonus that people are really going to appreciate you having. What do you think, Eric? I should mean, we get one or no? Yeah, oh, yeah, I think we should get one. Okay. And just go ahead and get the one that's up. Get that, that one. one. No, no. Get this one with that with the five star review. It's only 16 bucks. Okay. And it's got reviews as good as, well, no. Oh, yeah, look at that. 4.8. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Right, I get a four incher. Okay. Um, measuring cups, definitely. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Definitely. And spoons? I mean, yeah. But yeah, sure. We didn't have to be all one set, but it could be, I guess. All right, so then I guess, like, Seems like a good deal. These ones look cooler. Yeah, and uh, it's on on sale for a limited time. I kind of like that. I, that always like draws me in. Mm -hmm. It's got good reviews. I mean, this looks fine too, though. Mm -hmm. Either these, these ones look cooler. Yeah, they do. Very good, that one. They do look cool. I I like how they're. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 12 piece set? Yeah, 12 piece set is fine. Okay, that, take care of, that takes care of all those measuring things. Yep. Okay. Floor lamps. Hi, Kabeo! Hello, Kabeo. So, let's see what we get. The question really is how many of those should we get? I think we're going to need at least. Probably, you probably need one in each bedroom, right? Yeah. What do you think? Four or five like this and one, one of these yeah, Exactly. Like at least one for each bedroom. It depends on the size. Um, I think it'd be safe to like start with one with each bed one for each bedroom. Alright, so let's get one for each bedroom and one for the living room. Okay. So, I mean there's one we have there already, but then we could just Let's just get another one of these and figure out what to do with that other thing. I think this is the one that we got. Right, Eric? Is this still got water? You might need to probably use my I'll just use your But here, look. Use this. <clears throat> right. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. True. Yeah. So I don't contage. We get some more weight from the fridge. Okay. I think those are the ones we have. What's that, Rachel? I think these are the ones mm. that are the Wait. these. But 
We're talking floor lamps, no? Like, yeah. This is the is it? Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about like up light. Oh, oh these. these. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we grabbed stuff from one bag and I only left that one and stuff from the other bag. Really, so. so, um, yeah, these are the same ones that we have in here. Go with those. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Good three rooms. Good four rooms to start. Mm, yeah, hopefully that'll be enough. Who uses a poker? A sticks. Sticks, oh yeah. In the most delightful way. Don't have to lead it when it's done. Oh, Very sorry. Cool. Leave it there. Push undo, control Z. Instead, like bold, bold. or italics. Yeah. Or okay. You just, you, you just push Control B. Yeah. That means that the uh, lights we have. Right. The oven mitts has been a tough thing. Okay, we'll definitely get those. You gotta toughen up your hands, Ruben. Yeah. I've been using like my hoodie. You should put on your dish towels too, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Oh, mitts and dish towels. Alright, I'm gonna wipe this again. You don't know what I got, so. Gotta prevent contage. Mm. I could have some weird Mexican disease. Yeah. Mm. Or could it turn into a pile, a piping hot fire. <laughs> I got like yeah. something like this. Hey, moment. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot. It does. <clears throat> It's the Mexican version of spontaneous combustion. Right. You turn into a piping hot flan. Mm -hmm. That's why we hit flaneados. <laughs> we pay respects. You can get those gray ones on there, maybe. These? No, no. Oh, meow, meow. And I said no. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Meow. I didn't know we were trying to get all the towels at one time like that. Like this? No. Scroll down more. There on the right. For the kitchen. Okay. Does that seem like even a good color a little bit? It is not yeah, a good okay. color. Yeah. Oh, look at the other color. Not a ball. Okay, what? Here it goes. Okay, let's vote real quick. No. Aqua, no. Law to blue, law to purple, no. law to orange. Maybe. Out of stock. Okay, out of stock. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. No. Maybe. Out of stock. Out of stock. Uh, no. It's too dark a little bit. No. No. Wrong. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Okay. Okay. One of the either of those last two ones is fine yeah. with me. Gray or blue. And I'm looking, just looking at the rest. They're probably not going to be correct. Maybe the one two to the right of where you're at, but for the most part, I kind of like that bluish one to the left of the gray. But um, if it's off, it might not. See, gray is a lower risk choice. Gray will work. It goes gray. Goes gray and don't be sad. All right. We probably need to get one of those toilet cleaning kits. Oh, I yeah. thought. Go ahead and get one of those. You know. You see the one y'all have in there, right? It's like. Uh uh. Are we have one in there? Yeah, it's like a same thing. It's like a. Okay, let's a for, forget for, about that thing. Yeah. Okay. Other than this. 
you get the same kind of grades that you get the, uh, right. or the little towels. You can towels. see it right here. It's like that or probably that. I don't know. This? What do you think, Eric? Uh, I mean... Yeah. Well, let's get the 1999 one because you get more oven mitts with it. Mm. Get more. We of can a set. use them. Yeah. We can use them here. Yeah, if we don't need to put them all over no, there. No, no, we can make sure you click on the take coupon. Some oh, thank you, Ruben. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did that. Oh. <laughs> now it's going to be. Oh, oh my God. I do it. So, log back in is me. Oh, uh, we're going to lose our card? No, 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 no. Lose card. Um, Let's see. Oh, no. Lose card. Oh, 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 the, Rachel at the bottom, switch oh, accounts. Sorry. This one? Yeah. Sign in. Sending the Yes, Ruben, you did this. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be beating myself up about if the card's not there, I can speed run it. Okay? If you want me to do that, I can. No, don't do that, Rachel. Just be okay with being on air. No, don't do that, Rachel. No, you're not gonna it's not gonna work, Rachel. I know it's not. We're back on your All right, well, that's enough of that activity. I can get us back to where we were in five minutes. Oh, well, right behind the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let me speed run this. Um, Thanks. You're welcome. Let's see. All right, so I will know. I'll remember. I won't remember. I'll be triggered. So let's do um, first thing. Uh, spatula. Or knife set. So I'm not going to lie, not our most exciting, not our most exciting live stream ever. I think you're probably better off watching me sweep out here. It's like, why can't, why did, why, why did, can't I get a coupon? I love to get coupons too. But why couldn't I get a coupon anyway? You talking to us? Yeah, why couldn't I get a coupon? Well, was it not on the same item, right? No, we, we tried to log in for a coupon, 
Why did it have to log in as Rachel? Oh, God. Well, I think anybody logged in as a coupon, but by the time we got logged in as you, it... It was too late. It didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. So we're having a pretty dull live stream here today. But we're getting some things accomplished, and that's maybe even better than being interesting. At least for right now. I've got a rock over here to show you. Look at this rock. What a great rock, huh? It's the kind of rock you want to hold in your hand. <coughs> and caress and cherish. What's that kind of rock? It's not a regular rock. Careful not to piss you off. Okay, I'll be careful not to piss you off. How was I pissing you off? Was I pissing you off? I don't know. I was, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. I would never have the patience to collaborate on something like this IRL. It's a pain in the butt, huh? I hate it, but we're doing it anyway. Can we hum some CCR? Sure. Um, I hear a bad moon rising. Bump down, bump down, 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 down. Bump down, 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 down. Bump down, bump down, 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 down. Don't go around tonight, cause it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. There you go, Sleazy Juan. Some Creedence Clearwater Revival for you. Well, Bob UFO, Sleazy Juan is still recovering from a gunshot wound and a broken arm he sustained in Antarctica. So you need to maybe have a little bit of sympathy for his situation. Amazon not letting me have a coupon. Coupons are how responsible people save money. I wonder if I have some poops in me. Maybe a little less slack than I expected to be, but yeah, probably because it's extended release and like the second half of it, and since I took it orally, the second half of it releases in four hours after you take it. Probably not quite been four hours. When the other half of it kicks in, it should feel pretty. Jacked up. Jacked up like select plup. Select plup. We have a new brand of something by somebody. I don't know. Maybe I have some poop in me. Maybe I should eat some food. These are questions I think. Answers I wonder about. I think I should make some rice. That's what I should do. Let's make some rice. Who wants to make rice with me? All five of you? 
One of which is Rachel and one of which is Ruben. That's wonderful. Well, I've decided to make some rice. Right. <gasps> you gonna make some rice? Yes. Thank you. Would you like me to make enough rice for you too, Ruben? Uh, how long does it take? Um, it takes a total of 25 minutes. Now, I'm going to go back in around that amount of time. Thank you. That's right. No problem. Okay. Before I make rice, I'm going to need to do something a little special. I'll clean the pot that I made rice in last time. How do we clean a pot? This is something we've discussed on multiple occasions before. I want to make sure you retain all the information. So you start with a gentle scrubbing motion with your scrubbing brush. If you've got some sticky bits of rice, you can get them with the back of the scrubbing brush. It will function as an even more robust scraper than the bristles. You can gently scrub and scrub. Scrub and scrape, scrape and scrub until you feel all the little rice bits coming off. Now, you can rinse. But because I let this rice sit, this is not even close to coming off. So you should always soak rice right away. But, thanks to the magic of elbow grease, I don't have to let it sit. I can scrape, scrape, scrape it away. Okay, making some progress here. Now we're going to finally apply a little bit of soap. Rhymes with rope, but unrelated. We take this soap plus the scraper here on the back. We do a good scraper and a good scrub a do. Scrub a dab dab a cup of rice in a pot. Okay. If you're really going to enjoy our rice making tonight, one of the nice things about the rice we're doing tonight is all the other ingredients, namely the corned beef, is already made. So we just have to make the rice, and we'll put our other ingredients on top of it, just like that. All right, we got this going on here. We're gonna put this down over here with our mying hands. Seventy-six pieces seems like a lot of pieces. Yeah, they're they're fluffing up their numbers just by adding a bunch of band aids and counting them each as one piece. Yeah. Oh, you're on first aid kit. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, we're past where we were. Okay, thirty percent. You really are past, Ruben. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now it's time for a cup of rice. I'm gonna use the one cup cup measuring cup. We're going to get one black cup of rice, okay? Right there. One black cup's worth of rice. Next, we're going to put the rice back. Now, 
Yeah, we'll bring the pot over here. And we'll get two cups of water to put in on top of the rice. One cup of water. And two cups of water. Alright. Next I'm going to wash my hands, make sure they're clean. Then I'm going to do what's known as the jostling of the rice. That's necessary before you begin the cooking process. You got to jostle the rice by hand, like this, see? You got to break up any clumps, and just spread it around evenly along the bottom of the pot. This is going to bring a certain kind of heroic vision to your day, or triumph that is not easily attained. Okay, now, we're going to start Cooking rice on maximum flame. We're just cooking this rice on maximum flame until it comes to a hard boil. While we're waiting for that to come to a hard boil, we're going to do something pretty special, pretty important, pretty useful. We're going to put in some dirty dishes into the dishwasher here. So we're going to start with these forks here where you can see pretty well put them down here like so just like that now we're going to rinse out this bowl a little bit we've got a little bit of goo on it and stuff we'll rinse out this bowl a little bit maybe even give it a little scrub a little this one's got stuck on, sticked on rice and stuff. Get these bowls, get these two bowls. We'll put all these bowls here. And the dishwasher. That's burning out. Get these. This nice. This spoon. Okay. This spatula, they can go in there. But this cannot go in there because I need this to scoop the rice out. I'm going to wash this. So, some washing motions with my hands. I don't even need a, a meow for this. Just do the old washeroo. That's for meow. There we go. 
house, cleaning it up. seems to be boiling pretty good. Yeah. Am I boiling enough? Well, as you see, it's not really boiling here, but going to say yes it's boiling enough so we're going to turn the flame down below put this on yeah we have to give it a big big drip coffee right I think Acacia told me that they had a coffee maker there, but I never saw it myself. Oh, I've never seen it. Well, let's hold off and then we look for one. Okay. I don't think there is one, but maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, look, here's what we have so far, the golden stuff. Um, All right, well, let's get those things right now and call it a day. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm sure we already got a huge bill. Mm-hmm, 400 bucks. Uh, That's not so bad. Slice water, a few light bulbs, a first aid kit, uh, one large trash can for the kitchen. You can always get three gallon ones also. Um, here's the frying pan with lid, towels, oven mitts, this thingy, pasta yeah, pot, right. uh, four floor lamps, one set of measuring cups and spoons, mm -hmm. um, this four inch pizza wheel, uh, this? Did we get this? Spatulas? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. spatulas. Shower hanger thingy. It's not the exact same one, but similar price and it's better looking, I think. Okay. Knife block with acacia wood. This is acacia wood. Right, this is important. Okay. Yeah. And <coughs> oh, yeah, not that. <coughs> Save for later? <coughs> Save for later. Okay. 386.81. Okay, so things got a little gacky there for a moment. That'll happen sometimes. Nothing to be too alarmed about. You know, when life gives you gack, make gack an aid.
Okay, first things first, I need a bottle of water. Uh, let me get a bottle of water. Whew. You okay? Yeah, I just had some spectacular moments, you know. Don't call me Carol. Sleazy one, be nice to Carolyn. Okay? Don't call her Carol. She doesn't like to be called Carol. Kind of drive everyone away, Sleazy Wan, with your, with your meowingness. Pull up my pants, please. Okay. Okay, Sleazy Wan, seriously. Don't be one of those guys that have problems with everybody like Bobby used to be. <sighs> I am a world-renowned scientist. Actually, I'm a world-renowned scientist. It's a little bit different. It means that I'm into science, but not really a scientist. Butthole kegels? I don't need any butthole kegels. I need my poop to come out of my butt more easily, not my butthole to be stronger and holding it in. Ah, <sighs> well, I feel better. I didn't even drink any of this water yet, but. I don't find that's the case, Lizzie Wan. I find I generally do a better job of moderating my discourse now than I used to. <sighs> you know, I'm trying to get along with people more. But uh, we all have our own modalities, I get it. Beagles. Those are butthole kegels, huh? Gotta so keep that in mind. Right now, I'm doing butthole pooples. Which is to say, I'm trying to poop, push poop out of my butt. But I interpreted that as savior.
Favor would have been potentially another word for that inky pinky earlier that ended up having a. <laughs> What's the word to use now? I don't remember. Bask. Relish. That's the word to use. Relish. Are you well versed in the dark arts of wizardry? Good question. I want to know the answer too. And if so, where did you learn? Is it Saturday night? Woo! Saturday night! Party! Party down, everybody! It's Saturday night! I might very well take mushrooms tonight. Blue Elvis Straw is still around. I'm glad to see that, Blue Elvis Straw. Good job for still being around. I've gone to the bathroom, I've got my water here, and I'm feeling so much better. Hopefully, everything will be alright now. Hopefully, I won't feel so pukey again. I probably need to take a shower or do an SI reset. Sometimes that's an important component in uh, feeling okay, you know. Physically. Okay, we've got eight more minutes left on this race here. So it's done. We already have corned beef in the crock pot, y'all. Sizzling hot and ready to go. It's actually unwarm. It's not particularly warm, but warm enough, I suspect. And I think we can all agree, Ruben, Rachel, and Eric, that that corned beef tastes like Ireland. Oh, man, I have some beef in bowl of it. Well, they're going to be already on the rice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so how are you, how you doing? I'm doing okay. okay. I was showing you the acacia list, but look, we, we pulled the trigger on um, on this. Uh, there we go. Cool, great. Tuesday, March 9th. It's, it's, it's pretty soon. Jiffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You gonna take a shower, Eric? Yeah, I'll wait till the rice is done cooking, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, then. I'll just turn it off, then I'll take a shower, I think. And okay. then by the time I'm done with the shower, the rice will be done waiting. You know? Yeah. I'm glad we were able to do this. Thank you for helping, Ruben. Of Ruben. course, man. I'm leaving probably tomorrow, so. Yeah, well, your plane's leaving on Monday. That's right. You really shouldn't leave tomorrow until however long it's going to take you to get to, you know. The airport? Yeah. That's true. It makes no sense to go stay in another place by the airport. And mm -hmm. the only reason it possibly make that any sense is if you don't believe you'll be able to successfully drive down in the amount of time you suspect. Right. Uh, I think we got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't need my advice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, it's good. It's just like, uh, yeah, lots to think about, I guess. I basically do whatever's comfortable for Acacia. But for me, I think I would just do what you said, drive. I would give myself a couple hours. Um, Where airport are you in from? Uh, Burbank. But that, see, that brings her right back home, which is good. So, yeah, we'll probably just knock it out last minute. 
I gotta be there two hours ahead of time. Right. Yeah. So there's the plane. Yeah. And that's and how planes work. It took me a while to figure out the um, baggage situation. I felt like the language wasn't clear enough, but that's always how I feel. Like, uh, what do you mean by checked in bags? Like, oh, it's yeah, obviously you, your luggage. Yeah, the ones that you aren't going to be on the plane with you. But then when you get on the plane, there's personal item and there's carry on. And that confused me for a while. Oh, that is confusing. But as long as your item is smaller than a certain size, I have something that's at the limit of that threshold. And so I get it on for free. But if oh, it was one inch good. bigger, I'd have to pay like 65 bucks. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow. At that point, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Crazy wine, you just got too in pointlessly insulting. Just mindlessly shitting on it. Mm -hmm. No good reason for that. Insulting. Bob, I don't know, just starting shit unnecessarily. Talking, talking about his small nuts and stuff. Like it just being, just being like this, this stuff, as you can see. <laughs> right. I just had to. Uh, I did successfully get a couple of happy pills from my wonderful friend Ruben, who was delightfully uh, willing to hook a brother up, you know. When are you getting married, Ruben? <laughs> uh, like two months. Two months. That's pretty quick. Mark your calendars. <laughs> are you really? I don't know, Blue Elvis, when the time is right. First of all, Ruben has to pick the right dress. That's right. Yeah. He needs to say yes to the dress. Yeah. What did you say? He needs to say yes to the dress. That's right. Yeah, he does. What about you, Blue Elvis? <laughs> when are you getting married or divorced? Well, Blue Elvis, we drew Blue Elvis's soulmate. So Blue Elvis has to look out for that that person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I think he's already divorced. Okay, good. So. This was part of Blue Elvis. Oh. This is part of Blue <laughs> Elvis. Wait, that's his soulmate? <laughs> yeah, this is the underwear his soulmate is wearing. <laughs> Right. And this is it says blue I Elvis. love the lips, man. You're <laughs> Look, you got a blue Elvis, man. This is what you've got waiting for you. <laughs> this front knuckle thing, <laughs> whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. More importantly, you got this lady. Yeah, that's that's what that's. <laughs> this is Sarah. Remember. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah has spelled her name a little unusually. <laughs> She's scared. Um, you said this was, this is not her about Blue Elvis. This is her in the moment when you pictured her, right? Yeah, she yeah. might be seeing a bug. All right. She is really scared. Yes, yeah, she is. Maybe it was a potato bug. Said I. Yeah. Or Sarah. Sarah is how it's pronounced. <laughs> the, the G is silent? Mm, it's shy. The oh, G is shy. shy. People sometimes think it's silent, but it's really just shy. Uh, Sarah G, yeah. Um, how'd you injure yourself? Who injured themselves? A blue Elvis draw. Oh. He was injured at work. Injured at work. Yeah, how did you injure yourself? Do you, like my wife, have a hurt back? <laughs> how did your analgesic bomb work? Worked? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good. yeah. Good. Um, so I think what we're going to do in a little while, everybody, the rice is going to be leaving pretty soon. And then... You're going to obviously have to look the other direction. 
But I think I'm gonna take you into the shower with me. Oh! Yeah. That is actually exciting to me. So, um, I can be in. I want to be in there too. Obviously. I was calibrating and charging Teslas and was hit from behind by a large truck while at a red light. Ouch. Oh my god. Well, that's not good for you. So, you should get some insurance monies or something. From the large truck, um, the large truck corporation. Maybe try analgesic balm. Yeah, for some analgesic balm. Is it B-O-M-B? B-A-L-M. Oh, like a balm. Yeah, like that kind of balm. Sorry, Elvis. We already have TBI. Too much information. <laughs> too too much good. information. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll get it. If you were on the job, you know, you'll probably get it. All right, Jeff Higginson. It's going pretty well. I'm going to take a shower pretty soon. I'm going to take you guys into the bathroom with me. Not into the shower, per se. Oh. That's the signal for the rice to be done. That's my alarm to get ready to go, so I'm not going in the shower, Chad. Yeah, Ruben's not going in the shower with us. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much, Ruben. You're a real lifesaver. Yeah. In more ways than one. That's right. Let me just check to see, before I get into the shower, how the Colorado-Washington State game is going. <laughs> Nobody ever accused you of being dishonest. All right. I mean, the Oregon Colorado game. Oregon's up by three. I'm rooting for Oregon to take this game. At this point. Oh yeah, I forgot that it was tonight. Second half is coming up on Fox in a little bit. Maybe we can watch it? Yeah, I'd like to watch that. To be honest, I would like to watch that. I'd like to watch it too, honestly. I think it would be fun. Yeah. You're fine. I said fun. I know, you said fun, but you're fun. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. All right. <coughs> well, <coughs> we will see if Oregon can make the big comeback. So that rice will be fine now, just sitting there for and more or less until we're ready to eat it, until we open the lid. This evening, so even if it takes us half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever to, to get into it, it's fine. Well, you know what? I think I'm actually going to end the stream because I want to watch the second half of this basketball game. So I'm going to end the stream right now and watch this basketball game, after, and then I'll take a shower and then my stream again later. Until then, Adios, hasta la vista, and don't forget to eat plenty of queso. You're a new, uh...